Like I, I don't like Iman Gazi. I have a very controversial opinion on that guy. Three, three and a half lakhs a month. Three and a half lakhs per month as a remote contract. Yeah, and it was a lot of money because I was just in college. And one low paying client can get five high paying clients also. Agli mene paisa aega nahi aega, mujhe nahi pata. When I freelance, I you know increased hours from time to time. Kya bas kya par tamra kar diye. First article that I submitted for them got ripped to shreds. And when the project is closes, I get on a call and surprise the client with an extra deliverable and always over deliver. Chala sunte kuch bhi nahi, especially when you are. You know, the next generation of developers are tabbing developers. So just tab the bar. Yeah, and I was so heartbroken, honestly. In the end, the main thing is that you're doing something. Disciplined is getting shit done. Thousand dollars, one article. Really? I charge, I charge five x of a normal person charges for a logo, but I give unlimited changes. Okay, hi everyone. Thank you for taking out the time. I am doing this for the first time, and I hope this would be interesting. Let's get started. You know, I want this video to be more like a. guide for people who want to start with remote work with freelancing in india whenever someone like types freelancing they get a ton of superficial content which apparently is doing very well on youtube but there's no one who's actually sharing their experience and their live learnings right whatever they're going through onboarding clients working with them getting the payments growing turning it into an agency and then growing even further to wo sari baatein karenge uh and uh, basically the podcast ka goal is for anyone who's a 18 year old who is getting started with their career they have no clue what they want to do but they are interested to find out what makes them tick so that's how we'll start i want to start with harkirat let's do like a quick intro what do you do how did you get started and then we'll go around cool uh, thanks <coughs> for having me san uh i mostly consult in web3 uh, as a developer so uh, nothing too fancy coding most of my day um worked in the industry for almost a year and a half uh worked at wallet worked at an exchange worked at a bunch of protocols um before that i was proper web 2 um for like a few years before that i graduated i did my computer science so i was you know given a little bit of a privilege over there ki maine csk degree kari hai um but yeah from after, an I- iit from an iit <coughs> and then um after working for like a year and a half in finance on site just doing remote work since mm. that's a brief intro can happy to dive deeper yeah yeah we'll talk about web, web 3 even more lipsa yeah. you've never been on the channel before no. so people are watching for the first time what do you do and how did you get started first of all thank you so much for inviting me and i i have been a developer as well i have been a developer turned writer and content strategist for crypto and tech brands i run a crypto based agency out of singapore for about 6 years right now and uh, with my co-founder anish we have worked with some of the top brands in web3 including coindesk ledger i work with webflow and grow as well so i started freelancing very early like my uh, like uh, it was very experimental honestly like i started when i was 13 it's actually a funny story like i lost a friend's pen drive and i didn't want to get scolded by my parents so i searched online how do i make money and i found a website that gives me uh, amazon turk vouchers and i uh, long story short i ordered the pen drive from us paid 3000 for a 500 rupees pen drive but in the end got it and that was the first taste of money for me like the first dollar i ever made on the internet and that just kept me going 2020 uh, was like when i started my agency uh, all throughout college i did like like seo i did amazon affiliate websites i grew a social media page to 1 million followers and uh, but uh, but i realized that my passion was truly in content and web3 so 2020 2021 bull run I was deep into content, all the writing, the community aspect of things, and yeah. So here we are. We are Amazon now. Turk. What is it? Amazon Turk is a website where you can actually do like small tasks, like surveys, click size, click some uh, penny size data entry, and all they sort of pay you, uh, like do uh, like people have that data there, mm-hmm. and then you do all those tasks and get money for. In is it is it still it. something which is relevant? You can yes, but they have closed it to India. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. But there are a lot of websites that do similar things like surveys, ClickSense, ClickSense. So ads, ad, like, thoda thoda ads. But you can do surveys via that. Many of you not much, like thousand rupees or something per survey. I also probably. tried. I only got virus. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thing. When I was on Turk. पर ये नहीं पता मुझे टर्क वर्क नहीं पता पर मैं देखता रहता था सर्वे करके पैसा बनता है कि नहीं या आई हैव सीन दोस वीडियोस इन व्हिच दे से मैकेनिकल टर्क आई थॉट इट वाज अ स्कैम अंटिल आई गॉट द पेन ड्राइव एंड पीपल लाइक स्टार्टेड आस्किंग मी कस्टम्स इस पे पे करना होता है ये इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आया है बाहर से बट या आई थॉट इट वाज अ स्कैम एंड देन आई वांटेड टू बाय क्लोथ्स बिकॉज़ आई 
you know, I was like 15 years of age. <laughs> so I was like, I, I want to buy clothes right now. Mm-hmm. And then all of that sort of culminated in the writing and agency and freelancing. Amazing. Ayush? I can speak Hindi. Yes, Ram Sir. So I uh, run this company called Aul. Aul is basically a media company. Hai. Um, we work with a bunch of brands across uh, content. So similar to her. But we mostly video content, influencer marketing, social media. We also have a tech division bhi hai where we do a bunch of projects which are around augmented reality. We in fact recently made an AI tool for both things like these. Uh, we work with usually uh, slightly larger startups and enterprises. So um, think um, companies like let's say um uh, you know from a grow to a cred uh, we did nikhil kamath's podcast production for some time so on and so forth and then there are enterprise companies like let's say sher khan uh, who are uh, who have been in the market for a couple of decades so this is what we do i've been in uh, the media space uh, for more than a decade now started my journey creating content online mai uh, youtube videos banane se shuru kara tha और फिर वहाँ पे पैसा नहीं बना तो हम थोड़ा फ्रीलांसिंग शुरू करी हम वर्डप्रेस वेबसाइट्स बनाते थे कुछ भी कर देते थे एक्चुअली सिमिलर टू यू हम जहाँ पे भी दिखता था हमें कि पैसा बन रहा है हम वहाँ पे exactly. सीख लेते थे स्किल hmm. और बेच देते थे तो मोर देन द स्किल आई लर्न कि बेचते कैसे हैं तो नेक्स्ट फ्यू ईयर्स डेड फ्री लांसिंग करा फ्री को अच्छे से हैड अ गोल्डन ईयर जहाँ पे दुनिया घूमी वर्क विद बंच ऑफ ट्रेवल ब्रांड्स दैट वॉज एक्साइटिंग सो In a nutshell, I was a freelance video producer. So I shoot bhi karta tha, edit bhi karta tha. Like what Arvind is also doing, uh, the personal shooting, the podcast. Um, did that for a for a long time. I realized that I do this well, and uh, scaled it to an agency. First agency didn't work out. Now freelancing to agency thought, but pody dunga. We want to talk about this. We want to go deeper on that. बहुत ही ज़्यादा ऑप्टिमिज्म से ज़्यादा ना एक लेवल ऊपर होता है जिसको एटीट्यूड बोलते हैं विच इज़ रॉन्ग मतलब वो बिल्कुल ही भ्रम में मैंने शुरू करी एजेंसी mm-hmm. और uh, uh, नहीं चली मैं टुक अ ब्रेक स्टार्टेड आउल्ड विद अ लॉट मोर ह्यूमिलिटी देन द लास्ट वन तो यहाँ पे ठोकरे खा खा के नाउ वी आर अबाउट अ फिफ्टी पीपल टीम बेस्ड अक्रॉस द कंट्री बगल में दस मिनट दूर ऑफिस है जहाँ पर हम रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं सो दिस इज़ वॉट आई डू अपार्ट फ्राम दिस एजुकेशन रियली एक्साइट्स मी so um i'm one of the co-founders of lit school we are talking about it yeah, uh, that's yeah. an initiative of the pitch alla we're on a freelance cohort now so we we teach freelancers uh, uh, hopefully something which is a lot more meatier learnings which are not as you said superficial um and i create content every time mil jata hai so yeah this and is and how old has turned 4 how old is about 3 and 1/2 years old mm-hmm. um we have we have not turned 4 yet yeah, but soon So, yes yeah. awesome and he's also my senior from college pilani uh-huh. campus bits correct yeah. correct correct we we know each other because of bits pilani yes i think bahut magical jagah hai wo <laughs> it's magic ha uh-huh. i think tujhe nahi lagti itni magic mere sir ke upar se gaya wo magic sara jo tha mujhe bahut pyar in fact just like you i wanted to drop out mm. i didn't and i think that was one of the best decisions of my life oh why uh-huh. Yeah, the amount of fun I had in college mm. was amazing, and Bits is a place which has zero percent attendance, and I took full use of it. I was working, I was enjoying it, and I think pass is very easy. True. Number is not difficult. Pass is very easy. So pass, go. And you know, when you reach there, what degree was your degree? Chemistry or mechanical. So mm. mechanical is not very tough. Mechanical is easy, brother. Mm. In fact, okay. I had the choice of taking. Uh, triple e i didn't because triple e bahut tough hota hai planning that's good ha to cs to mila nahi i so, had triple e oh electrical yeah. engineering dropped out no wonder you dropped out <laughs> yeah. now we know no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yaar nahi so i made a reel recently talking huh. about exactly today two years ago i dropped out not huh. today but like two weeks ago and i was just talking about all the things i did in the last two years and that one got like 1.5 million views wow and people are just debating in the comment section ki ye sahi hai ye galat hai aisa hai waisa hai mm. but it's just crazy how many people are you know having conflicting opinions on that and i think both works mm. depending on how your mindset is and all we have it right here you know kuch bhi sahi nahi hai mujhe lagta hai it's what what's right for you yeah. uh, generalize to kitne sare log hain jo graduate karke abhi billion dollar companies chala rahe hain to kya unke liye Mm. and they look back and they look at their college and they're very grateful yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, and there are a lot of people who hate college mm. so and i feel like college is like the time where your parents will leave you alone 
to do whatever you want so you can do like uh, you can bunk classes whatever i'm not saying to bunk classes but then uh, i'm saying you can use that time to do something productive and experiment and pass to ho hi jaoge hmm what a bubble create ho jata hai aur bahut beautiful bubble hai wo mujhe pata tha meri fees to bhari ja rahi hai agar tum loan bhi lo what college is especially if you're in a decent college to tumhe pata hai ki yaar itni job to lagi jayegi ki main wo education loan ko pura kar dunga तो बहुत सेफ स्पेस बन जाती है उसके अंदर एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन करना yeah. आसान हो जाता है बट जब तुम अकेले होते हो ना बाहर कॉलेज के तो मुझे लगता है वो वो बहुत ही ग्रूलिंग uh, जर्नी है इट इज़ नॉट एज इजी एज बीइंग इन कॉलेज बट अगेन टू ईच देयर ओन इट्स ऐसा ब्लैक एंड वाइट तो नहीं है डिसीजन hmm. hmm. पता नहीं कभी कर लो यार वो बेचारा भी ऐसा लग रहा है यस भूल गए मेरे को बोलने के लिए कर रहे हो मेरी तो बारी आए यस अनिक Okay so I don't have so much to talk about but um the only thing I would say is that I am completely in love with logo design and typography that is something I breathe every single day even raat ko jab main sota hu in my dreams I create <laughs> logos wow. um like in the washroom I sometimes take uh, my notebook and you know I get ideas anywhere you mm-hmm. know flight mein aa jata hai kadar bhi aa jata hai so I really like logo design a lot I notice a lot of typography everywhere in the world mm-hmm. uh, wherever i go and I, that's why i like to travel we have taken two trips together yes. the reason why i like to travel is because you see to you see design in a different way in every single place okay and you know talking about um, my freelance journey i would say that uh, that grew me and made me what i am today because right now i da- run a design agency called designer and we are a small team of like 6 to 7 people um and then we we it's it's hybrid we don't have an office yet but we are working with some very interesting clients half of them i can't reveal because of i've signed an nda of but um we have worked with some like we have worked with raj on his logo we have worked with a uh, lot of famous indian singers and um, we have we have worked we are working with good fellows right now it's a tata back uh, the company and uh, yeah we, we are we are doing a lots of work right now and thinking of having an office so oh, yeah so person wow Yes. Yeah, I'm Amazing. talking about college. Ishan was almost forced me to drop out of college. <laughs> I'm in my last year. My I think three months are left right so now. So last year is when we first started talking, hmm. and in about a month we were like, let's go on a trip to Dubai. Wow. <laughs> and so, we had like crazy experiences but a kafi humble intro tha he yeah, is actually pretty amazing for people who I want to dig deeper into yeah. his journey as actually. So we have designer video video marketing we can say writing and web3 and developer mm-hmm. this is an amazing combo all of you can give your own perspectives or people can decide at the end kyunko karna kya hai what works for them and i want to start with anek only like you have experience of design right what is the scope of design career in 2024 if someone who knows nothing about it and how can they get started I if you say, were an 18 year old again yeah i would say a lot of people uh, when they talk about design hamare se bhi aisi galti hoti hai we always think about graphic design but design as a term has so much more into it than just graphic design product design there is even ux design which is a single way of how a door is shaped how it is made the experience of you opening an iphone box every single thing is a part of design so you know we sort of sometimes generalize design and that's our fault also you know but i would say to answer your question is someone who is very very keen uh, to learn design and to be a part of this industry in 2024 one thing you have to be very okay with is adapting to changes because in recent times there are so many changes that has happened with ai and with so many things that are happening around that people are getting scared but you know honestly uh, there was printing press which was there uh, <coughs> like decades ago and because of that a lot of people lost their jobs because of the new inkjet printers and stuff like that and now there are 3d printers mm. but still the jobs are that are being lost are the ones who are very rigid ki nahi i won't change i won't adapt to the new things i'll stick to what i am because i'm good at that no that's not what you that's what the attitude you should ideally have and i should be very adaptive to changes and the second thing is you should be very really curious in this field curiosity is something which has really helped me because i think that's there in between both of us we always question ki yaar ye aisa kyu hai why is this like that we and that question is something we should always be proud of teachers hame school mein bolte hai itna question kyu puch rahe ho hmm. you know itna question mat pucho we feel embarrassed ki hum puchhenge nahi haath uthayenge nahi but we should be the first person to raise a hand we should ask questions that's design designers we should be questioning each and everything why is this 
plant right here in the center you know every single thing should be we should be very curious about it so i think that's something uh, like a soft skill something you should have and you should be focusing on if you want to really good do good in the field of design in this age especially and a book to learn more about that is <clears throat> design of everyday things yeah 100% 100% and um, there is this book by sara hendman uh, design is a storytelling it's a very interesting book mm-hmm. on how storytelling shapes the way uh, things are designed around you so yeah amazing and how can they start learning design you you saying something no no i was saying why is there a plant and not food <laughs> not fruit <laughs> not food <laughs> not food <laughs> food coming soon yes <laughs> okay yeah so you always how can someone get into into this field like what do they need to learn for free got it right if, if they if they want to experience this field they don't want to pay for it particularly right, right now how do they get started see i would say uh, honestly it depends what you really want to do okay if you want to uh, do freelancing there are so many ways you can uh, there are so many tools you can hop onto um, there like obviously there are fiverr upwork uh, freelancing and all that so many tools you can do but apart from that if you want to like, gain experience in like corporates if you want to gain experience in startups i would advise a fresher who is starting out in the field of design especially graphic design for them to work in a startup because what will happen is it that startup will not only shape him in a way to learn design but also shape in a way of communication skills decision making skills managing the team that is very important when you leave that startup and you start your own brand or you work in a very big uh, corporate agency mm-hmm. because then you have a lot of experience to talk about you know so that is something which i would advise and yeah there are a lot of resources online just to name a few there are there are youtubers like james martin chris do um abby conic there's will patterson there is indian apne gfx mentor uh, then rajiv mehta there's so many just to name a few and from there you can learn and honestly kisi ko seekhna hota hai na there's nothing that can stop them mm. so yeah i mean makes sense harkirat yeah. how does someone get into the field of software development there are a few ways but it's pretty standard ke either do a computer science degree that's the easiest path um, <clears throat> because agar 4 saal ka proper curriculum rahega to it will help versus someone who's just doing a boot camp um, is that still the right path like the most efficient path most efficient path i still agree ke btech bhi karo if you have the money go for a masters um, in computer science specifically uh, curriculum is good india curriculum is in great but agar aap masters bahar se kar rahe ho you will learn good and then you know fang is like a very easy option uske baad if you go for a masters so that's the standard path um that is pretty well if you you know go for a bachelor's in india masters in the us join a fang you will retire with a decent chunk of money um that's one path the other path is ke masters ke paise nahi hai sirf btech karni hai then also i would suggest ke you know iit mein chemical mil rahi hai but nit mein cs mil rahi hai to nit mein cs le lo hmm. yeah you know tier 2 tier 3 always prefer a cs CS नहीं करिए देन यू नो देर इज यूट्यूब देर आर फ्रेंड्स वर इन सी एस देर आर लाइक स्टैंडर्ड कार्यक्रम फर्स्ट डू डी एस ए देन पिक नीश आईदर वेब डेवलपमेंट एंड्रॉइड आई ओ एस और यू नो वेब थ्री ए आई वट एवर इट इज गेट योर हैंड बिल्ड अलॉट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट एंड देन यू गो फ्रॉम देर दैट्स अ ब्रीफ आई विल आस्क अ वेरी डम क्वेश्चन वाई कांट आई जस्ट बिल्ड एमेजॉन नेटफ्लिक्स क्लोन्स from the walk throughs <laughs> that i see on youtube tutorials and then become a full stack developer yeah uh, <laughs> standard answer ke it's uh, it's called tutorial hell if you're designing someone let's say you're looking at his video and you'll design something aap wo same cheez bana loge uske aage nahi bad paoge it's better to you know mm. fundamentally learn how to code and from first principles build an amazon clone versus mm. following someone usme time lagta hai the whole problem with this is people want to code fast because people want a job fast it feels right. like coding is the you know way to make money or whatever um so because of that people skip out on fundamentals that's why i said cs degrees help um and fundamentals kar loge to you know you don't need to follow any tutorial you'll build anything from first principles mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but mo mera sawal hai how is it the most efficient because mm-hmm. bits mein to bachche 6 mahine padhte the last ke yeah. saad 3 mm-hmm. saal chill karte the mm-hmm. and most of their learning came from 6 months of learning online mm-hmm. and getting a very good job so are you saying that the degree helps because it's a signal for the company who's hiring you or is it the most efficient way to learn Matlab, the, learn versus getting a job are different right so correct i'd say learn um so you'd, you'd still say learn yes okay so the curriculum even though it's heavily outdated um 10 jargon aise seekh jaoge jo if you if you let's say don't go to a college or you know don't go to computer science and seedha web development karne lag gaye to randomly wo jargon aayenge ki you know operating systems ya yeah, database uske computer science mein there are you know classes aap pure 6 mahine pad rahe ho uska exam de rahe ho even though you're not learning it in depth bahut bahut outdated curriculum hai but uh, still wo jargon agar aap seekh jaoge agar aap abhi 18 ke ho 
एंड यू हैव टू पाथ्स कि नहीं यार मैं ना ग्राइंड कर करके फ्रीलांसिंग नौकरी पकड़ लेता हूँ वर्सेज के चार साल मेहनत कर लेता हूँ तीन साल करिकुलम पढ़ लेता हूँ और फिर ले लूँ आई थिंक द सेकंड पाथ इज इन द लॉन्गर टर्म मोर ऑप्टेबल I also I think it yeah I, I also disagree I also think it depends on the person and how much attention they pay so for for me as a person I did a CS degree and I did the entire path although I do agree that the jargon does help a, a lot but I feel the most I learned was in my corporate job mm-hmm. I actually learned how to make a program how to learn like end to end everything in the internship or in the uh, job rather than the curriculum itself because the curriculum was just honestly mostly theoretical mm-hmm. and they will make you do stuff like you know for example that um, databases like uh, uh, like ai algorithms and all they'll make you do all of the calculations by yourself which is not really necessary because we have calculators to do that yeah, I, i'm, right. I'm know, the exams that they test you on is not the best indicator of what you should be learning plus not everyone is the same right mm-hmm. kuch yeah. log structured okay. learning se seekhte hain kuch unstructured se mm-hmm. i am not very good at structured learning mm-hmm. मुझे आई वुड रादर एक्सपेरिमेंट विथ ट्वेंटी थिंग्स एंड एंड लर्न फ्रॉम दैट एंड दैट्स आई लर्न फिल्म मेकिंग बट देर आर पीपल हु गो टू अ फिल्म स्कूल देर इज अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड लर्निंग हाँ हो सकता है उसको पांच चीज़ें ज़्यादा पता हूँ बट मैं सीख भी उससे ट्वेंटी परसेंट टाइम में रहूँ एंड वाइल वी गेट टू द पॉइंट जहाँ हम दोनों चार साल स्पेंड कर लेंगे हमें पता होगा ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर चीज़ें Uh, so I think it um, maybe the right path for one yeah. type of student Depends is I agree. college. Me, I agree. So I'm going to contradict myself a little bit. I agree. If you get your hands a little dirty, yeah. if you're building projects, if you're in college, me rather than going to like no one even in IITs goes to uh, you know classes. Class, बहुत कम लोग attend करते हैं. अच्छा. But there are like college groups, and most of these college groups में CS वाले लोग ही घुस रहे हैं क्योंकि hmm. you know ठीक है there's a filtering criteria only ten people can get in only twenty people can get in. अच्छा. मेरी भी सबसे learning college group में ही हुई थी. I was part of filmmaking का college group and coding का college group. Specially so clubs हैं college के अंदर clubs यहाँ पे लोग सीख रहे हैं. वो तो पूरा ही मिसाड़ हो जाता है. In an online degree or if you're skipping college, um, getting your hands dirty and you know getting a freelancing gig is actually a great path. मैं मरा नहीं कर रहा हूँ. Um, I said if you you know if you're 18 right now and if you can choose. I would choose the second path. You can still be in college and you know get your hands dirty, skip classes, mm-hmm. but don't skip if you can. Don't skip out on a CS degree. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Two opinions. So, if anyone who is thinking to get started mm-hmm. for free, how can they do that? YouTube is great. Uh, I think there's a lot of coding content today. Um, that is why I want to ask this question. There's so much content. <laughs> What do they do? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. I don't have a good answer. Um, YouTube is filled with content, as you said. But at the same time, you know there are standard guidelines. Okay, when you're starting to code, learn data structures and algorithms. Pick one creator, and you know, for example, Striver is a great creator in the DSA niche. So just follow him end to end, and DSA match will come. Yeah, Striver is Raj. Raj. Hmm. So hmm. probably one of the best creators in data structures and algorithms. Um, so yeah, pick one creator, and then you know, learn that one skill, and then go from there. Um, As much as I agree कि हाँ YouTube पे बहुत ज़्यादा content है especially in coding, um, I still think you can you know very easily figure out कि कौन किसको सही knowledge है कौन सही पढ़ा रहा है and then just follow them deep. Hmm. I think when I used to learn, I also used to follow a lot of MIT uh, courses and all of the uh, teachers. MIT like OCW के lectures जो होते हैं. Yeah yeah yeah. They help. Are they helpful? Like a crash course for example. Or does it make it too complex? I don't think anyone watches them. Um, I don't know man. I think it just feels like I do. So वो MIT का professor पढ़ा रहा है. Conventionally, yeah. you would think that okay, you know he's the one of the best, but people relate more to Striver or you know someone Indian creator. Yeah, he's Hindi. I'm talking about. I'm just trying to understand. Things both same. We're studying, and as much as I agree that he's a big professor, I still have never used any OCW or even IITs have ERPs and you know uh, courses. Never looked at them. But is that a good thing? Like the professor being re- replaced by Easy Snippet, for example, for the masses who watch. <laughs> Depends. Uh, I mean, do you know the context? जो मीम से शुरू करता है हां हां एग्जैक्टली या या डिपेंड्स सो या दैट्स अ गुड एग्जांपल इफ ही कैन मेक पीपल लर्न समथिंग जो एमआईटी वाला जज जब कोई सक्सेसफुल डेवलपर डजंट मीन योर सक्सेसफुल टीचर राइट देयर इज अ वेरी बिग डिफरेंस आई थिंक देयर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ ऑफ देम एंड यू नो इजी इज अ गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ समवन हु इज फाउंड दैट नीच जो पढ़ा भी रहा है ही इज डूइंग इट इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म व्हिच इज यू नो वेरी हार्ड टू रिटेन उसमें तुम यू हैव टू डू इट इन लॉन्ग फॉर्म बट इफ समवन डज द सेम थिंग इन लॉन्ग फॉर्म I think they'd be the winner in this market. This बच्चे को कोडिंग ही सीखनी है ना अंत में. Whoever can make him comprehend better uh, is a better teacher. I feel. Yeah. I think somebody like an easy snippet is not fundamentally the best teacher. However, somebody like him can pull you in 
वैसे मुझे वो देखता हूँ ना क्यूरियोसिटी मुझे भी सीखना कोडिंग तो आई रिस्पेक्ट हम अलॉट बिकॉज ही पुल्ड मी इन टू दिस डिसिप्लिन जिसका मुझे बिल्कुल भी आइडिया नहीं है बट बियॉन्ड द पॉइंट आई वोट लर्न थिंग जैसे आपने बोला कि रिटेंशन नहीं है राइट रिटेन नहीं कर पाओगे तुम उस पर यू विल हैव टू मूव टू समबडी जो वो पेपर पेन लेके और वो एक्चुअली सिखा रहे हो तुम्हें क्या ऐसा तुम समझो ये फंडामेंटल्स हैं ऐसे तुम इम्प्लीमेंट करते हो बट समबडी लेके मीज इनक्रेडिबल टू गेट यू स्टार्टेड कि हाँ ऐसा भी कुछ कर सकते हो but that's the mistake right like you cannot have a uh, resume with the education section filled yeah. with easy snippet ke reels <laughs> it still needs to be something more concrete yeah correct i feel in the future anyway resumes won't matter right uh, right mujhe pata bhi nahi hai mere uh, jo team mein log hain wo college gaye hain ki nahi see in some um, disciplines degrees matter a lot like you know doctor hain jaise ab wo बहुत सारे ऐसे डिसिप्लिन हैं बट जिन चीज़ों की हम बात कर रहे हैं वो डिजिटल डिसिप्लिन हैं इनमें डिग्री और रिज्यूम में थोड़े कम मैटर करते हैं मैं ये नहीं कह रहा कि डिग्री करो ही मत इनफैक्ट आई लव माय कॉलेज इफ आई हैड अ चांस आई वुड गो अगेन बट इफ यू लुक एट लेट्स ए कोडिंग डिजिटल डिसिप्लिन है सीखा जा सकता है ऑनलाइन वीडियो है डिजाइन है सीखा जा सकता है ऑनलाइन नहीं बट हर की वॉट वॉज योर फर्स्ट क्लाइंट वेन यू वर्क एज अ freelance contractor yeah so the first one her name and was how much did they pay you yeah her first one was her name was emily first time i got you know a uh, freelancing gig uh, she paid 30 dollars an hour uh kahan se mili so i got it through a talent network called toptal uh i was lucky that way ke one covid was there two i got into toptal toptal has extremely good clients they connect you you know to companies in the us so uh, that's how i got my first 10 gigs i would say toptal mera did it did it was all wahi se nikla tha um then i started up work and you know other platforms as well but yeah the first one 30 dollars an hour full time for 6 months and how much were you making like per month to <coughs> estimate dollars an hour translates to around 3 3 and 1/2 lakhs a month 3 and 1/2 lakhs per month as a remote contract correct worker correct in the software development field correct so you're doing 40 hours a week yeah full time very cool what was it for you anik before 40 you 40 hours a week it's a lot na yeah. That's full time, bro. Yeah, that's full time. Gen Z, Gen. मतलब forty hours is standard. Forty hours is एक ज़्यादा कैसे है? आठ घंटे दिन के तो होते हैं. Forty hours is nothing. Forty hours is eight hours for five days. Twenty hours. Notebook पर नहीं है अलग से बैठ के. I need time for that as well. ये कटेगा इसका short time. बिल्कुल भी नहीं. Generally forty hours is too less. If especially मतलब uh, he's he's amazing. If he's found आप जो इतना पैसा कमा रहे थे चालीस घंटे काम करके मुझे लगता है चालीस घंटे कुछ भी नहीं है. Especially when you are young. So, इसे इसे कितने घंटे काम करना चाहिए? यार करो पचपन साठ जितना तुम कर सकते हो यार बट नारायण मूर्ति सही बोलते हैं यार डोंट डिफाइन ना कि मतलब सी अगर तुझे लाइफ ही एकदम रिलैक्स लाइफ चाहिए hmm. कि मैं सात बजे बंद कर दूं तो ठीक है ना फिर hmm. मत कर काम hmm. बट तुम्हें चाहिए भी मर्सिडीज तुम्हें काम भी करना है बीस घंटे तो आई थिंक इट इट you have to make a trade off then become a creator you have to if you want the good life which is I mean material is uh, very very material standpoint right? उस material standpoint से तुम्हारी बहुत ख्वाहिशें हैं तो घिसो मतलब but ठीक है मतलब some people don't like that and that's fine. I think it depends. I think if you're working for someone else, forty hours is decent. If you're working for yourself, then of course you'll pull through. Um, hmm. but किसी और के जैसे नारायण मूर्ति का ये कि मेरी company मतलब you're an employee hmm. and work for me for seventy hours. I don't necessarily agree with that. Why? You can uh, people. There are so many. What is that word? Entrepreneur, right? Hmm. hmm. But equity भी नहीं है. A lot of people. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. A lot of people will walk up the ladder. I mean, don't don't join an Infosys. Then maybe join a smaller startup. I agree. What do you do? It. If you have equity, if you're founding team, do it. Yeah. Yeah. If you are, if you think the founder considers you to be top ten or fifteen in the team, I think you should push through because a lot of founders who are good founders eventually will give you the piece of the pie which will get you. Asymmetrical results in life, but again it's a mindset. I don't think um, Can't when I was working for somebody else, मैं तो तभी साठ पैसठ घंटा काम कर रहा था. Yeah. And during that time, I found my gold. Hmm. Yeah. And they, because I was working so much, they gave me the best of the projects, even though I was much younger than most. Um, so I think um, even when you are in a job, mm-hmm. working hard does. Um, but I think it... not in all companies. Mm-hmm. But if you are in the right company, if the founder is right, intentions are good. it helps yeah the bigger question is how do i find such companies jo mujhe wo grow karne ka mauka denge because i worked for 6 7 months in a startup in 2020 and while i worked what i was expecting to get as an equity 
for my work that I did did not get paid did not want she to get paid that's way really less now 6 months oh. mm-hmm. no i joined as like the first person who was working after the founder even then 6 and months is nothing no but then it came about me getting some part of the pie okay. and what i was expecting i was not getting that for the work that i was doing mm-hmm. i left that but what does someone do to find such companies jahan pe as you said ki founder aapko reward kar rahe ho equity ke liye mm. i think india is very hard i think indian founders are a little Hmm. Glitch in that sense. Um, foreign companies, it's easy. I mean, I've had conversations with Indian founders who are very rich, like you know, billionaires on paper, whatever. वो भी नहीं करते ऐसे. नहीं. And वो नई company खोल रहे हैं तो they'll say तुम as one of the first engineers आ रहे हो, you should be thankful कि मैं तुम्हें point two percent दे रहा हूँ. Versus a foreign company, one percent, two percent तो standard ही होता है फिर founding engineer. तो um, I think India में I've I haven't found companies. I'm sure there are companies. you could get very lucky if you were an early employee at razor pay even 0.1% is a lot um right. but you know you have to play the odds not every company will become worth 10 billion dollars um so i think it's a little hard to find that balance in india but indian founders indian companies ke against ek jo negative person hai wo kyu bana hua hai because like market up which is my company has indian enterprise companies as, as well that we work with Obviously there are some bad apples, but mm-hmm. like why is this system? You you work with Indian companies. मुझे लगता है बहुत amazing Indian founders. Mm-hmm. मतलब ways to look at it. I'm sure there are people who are bad, but um, I have been fortunate enough to surround myself with people who are good. You make that choice of mm-hmm. of what you look at in a. अभी तुम Indian startup ecosystem को देखोगे और Bijus को देखोगे तो of course it's negative, mm-hmm. right? So it's perspective, and a lot of people will look at that because it's the was at one point the highest valued and also one of the biggest failures. But there are such incredible companies. You see Zeta, go see. Here in the bagel, my office is. In front of Zeta's office, such an incredible company, True. very successful. I feel uh, uh, you are what you surround yourself with, right? Um, I think fundamentally, the question that you asked, which is, how do you find such founders? Buddy company, me, to not get. If a company has already grown to thousands of crores in revenue, they will not give you anything. Mm. Mm. They have already gone there. You get a reward when you take a risk. राइट एंड यू यू आल्सो नॉट ऑलवेज गेट अ रिवॉर्ड लोग को लगता है कि अब मैंने रिस्क ले लिया तो अब तो मैं मिलेनर दो महीने में बन ही जाएगा ऐसा नहीं होता ना मतलब बट द रिस्क स्टार्ट्स विद अ स्मॉलर कंपनी फाइव टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी पीपल कंपनी रिस्क स्टार्ट्स विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेदर दैट कंपनी इज इन द राइट इंडस्ट्री और नॉट राइट वो तुम्हें समझना पड़ेगा मार्केट टेलविंट्स के अगर इस टाइम पे मार्केट टेलविंट्स कहता है कि यार एक कॉन्टेंट कंपनी इज गोइंग टू बी सक्सेसफुल देन that's how you take a decision so you have to apply multiple filters judging a founder is very simple i think uh, good founders are transparent good founders uh, don't put their uh, uh, foot on the table metaphorically they they get down they they get their hands dirty they execute with you um delegation is a lot more supportive uh, they work harder than everyone else if your founder uh, does not work harder than everyone else then something wrong in the company again fundamental beliefs are mere i'm sure there are founders who do the opposite and are 50 times more successful than most uh, but i if i were to look at a company i would look at these signs mm. and once you see ki yaar ha ye cheeze match ho rahi hai then you place a bet the bet can still go wrong and you will not become a millionaire in a week <laughs> so don't expect that uh, you probably not do that in like yeah. the next two years as well but yeah. but down the line um i feel if you play your cards right it does happen mm-hmm. yeah i agree i think betting yeah. on the founder is the most important thing yeah right mehnat thodi underrated hai aajkal ye bol raha hai 40 ghanta bahut zyada hai nahi nahi i was asking anek only this question that what was your first client and how much did they pay you and kahan se mila so i got my first client on behance it's mm-hmm. it's like a place it's like instagram for designers you you post your work there you you show what you do and then wahan pe messages mein aata hai if any inquiry comes so i ek us ki client thi um, i think we, we remember we had discussed that the way mein baat kiya tha unhone uske bare mein so i think she paid me around like like 40000 rupees or something like that wow. and that for just one packaging day and the, the interesting part was she wanted a packaging design of a similar uh, design which i already done mm-hmm. and it was a passion project which was already uploaded online so she like ye design chahiye mujhe So that design was done. I just need to put this here. And she found you on Behance. Yeah, she found me on Behance. Yeah, I, I believe that Behance is a very good place uh, because the thing is, on Behance you're not directly selling to any person. Let's say um, you know there are so many other platforms. Jaape, they you're putting a price on your work. 
which is a very bad thing to do it's like you know going in a market and designers pade up a price tag ke sath that's something which I'd, it's not very ethical according to me so behance is a platform where you show your work you know your people get to know ki what's your style what kind of work you do know, what's a variety of thing and you have a lot a lot of information also where you're from mm-hmm. all that information is there and there are links to other things you do as well so i think that's a nice safe space uh, for every designer to have yeah so yeah not hunt for work on nice. these platforms but present your work and have a very good um, look to at your portfolio so i give your example at all the talks i gave <laughs> in terms of so, being present being in front of people bahut sahi hai a and huge that, respect yeah. for anik ye yeah. dalta rehta apna kaam hmm. bahut sahi hai lipsa yeah. how was it for you the first client the first client um so i as i mentioned i started very early right so i started with graphic design actually where oh. they paid me like 5 dollars a banner nice. and i was not really was that, that good at it yeah yeah it was at 5 okay. yeah so i was not really that good at it i also did like background removal for 5 dollars and all <laughs> that all of that um i used to do like templated uh, photoshop and things but that's how i got my first gig like got introduced i was a virtual assistant for like 4 dollars an hour and i did like i think 40 hours a week for them wow yeah <laughs> and and it was a lot of money because i was just in college and yeah. i was like uh, this could just pay me like the entire mera kharcha nikal gaya pura mahine ka kharcha nikal gaya pocket money hai mera and then uh, then but like when i started my agency and everything a lot of my web3 clients specifically like the first web3 client was a very big exchange is actually the third exchange in uh, the entirety of crypto like volume wise i pitched them through twitter Nice. So I had just a uh, like simple optimized like a banner I had uh, like what I have done and my portfolio there and they had posted a gig opportunity for people and I had just pitched them and I didn't even have like bylines or samples of writing bylines as in uh, my name on big websites and saying that I have done all of this there but I just pitched them with a medium article and saying that this is my writing style and if you want you can uh, like you know take a look and I can work with you on this and the main editor really liked it and she approached me and because it is such a big exchange obviously they have very high editing standards they are like uh, at the my first article that i submitted for them got ripped to shreds they rewrote the entire thing and i was so heartbroken honestly but it was the the learning experience from that like i sat down i saw all of the comments i made a separate document made all the notes of all those comments and just repeatedly went through them like where did i go wrong and the next but they were willing to give me the next article also i did not expect that but uh, when they gave it to me and i implemented everything that i had made a note of and it actually came out very well and the editor rewrote only like 20% of it so that <laughs> is you know nice. a success so wow. that was like my first client in the web3 space and uh, they paid me around 15 cents per word 15 cents per 15 word cents. so it's around 150 dollars and uh, 1000 word article yeah currently i charge up to like 400 to 1000 words an hour 1000 an article mm. so, 1000 dollars ek article ke that is mostly journalistic articles okay. so the kind of you see on coin desk which is like more research uh, oriented coin desk care to people who don't know uh, coin desk is a news website uh, for crypto mm. so they do like these in depth journalistic features where you have to go to people interview them oh. get mm. all these facts and then do like a research investigative sort of piece so, so there they do pay like 50 cents per word which Have, which happens to be like for a 2000 word art feature usually that's it that's 1000 dollars and uh, i'm very intrigued mujhe thoda kam pata hai is industry ke bare mein to aise to uh, do, you, do you think people also two questions do people then unnecessarily write long articles when it's per word and second question is uh, how much <laughs> how much time is, <laughs> <laughs> how much time does it take you to to do this work right so if a person actually stretches and writes long articles you have not hired the right person okay okay because people who uh, uh, like have reached that sort of caliber it's it's not about it's it's about how much that article needs so you can end like um, at one point and it's just just enough like people stretch because they want that extra money right but in general like once you have that sort of portfolio people do not stretch it's is usually people who are paid like 1 rupee per word 2 rupee per who word stretch. who stretch because obviously that's not worth their time at all mm. right they need that extra money or people who've just come from the 12th board exam and go pass number ka question likhne ke liye char line aur bharni padti hai icse mein padhe hain shayad icse mein padhe hain mark kaat diye because lamba nahi likha hai word matlab aisa and the a type words bhi count hote hain 
अच्छा तो ये भी काउंट होते हैं काउंट होते हैं बट इट्स नॉट रियली अबाउट दैट इट्स मोर अबाउट द क्वालिटी ऑफ द आर्टिकल द एडिटर विल एनी वेज टेक इट आउट इफ यू राइट फ्लफ लिखने में दो तीन हफ्ते लग जाते हैं कौन सा depends honestly how well you are connected in that space uh, do you have a network do you can you reach out and get that network immediately sometimes it will take you months to just get an interview but oh. if you have that network which i already had you can just like ping someone i need access to this person and mm. then you can get get that immediately and that will just take like you know a day to set up that Got interview it. so mm. i think for me it took me almost uh, gathering interviews probably 3 hours and then writing the piece was probably like four but was 7 ghante mein 1000 dollar is possible when you barrier to entry here is network yes network so agar main chahu to main nahi kama sakta hai paise the also the one of the barriers to entry in web3 is because it's a technical field yes you really have to understand the core basics the underlying principles like mm. ishan made that video right it goes much more deeper into that like sort of knowing all the protocols interacting with them mm. it's very easy like the demand is super high honestly like i were at at this point like when i'm scaling my agency i'm actually having to say no to clients because i cannot mm. fulfill nice. that quality with the people that i have yep. So now uh, the main problem is getting those people who can fulfill that supply demand gap. Now the people that are there who who, who will always say that they have three plus years of experience. They are they actually have like writing for other websites. But when you see their work, the errors are so obvious mm. that it it becomes really really like you know challenging to find person who act, uh, a person who knows their underlying basics and then can sort of portray that across. But uh, uh, for example, like Abhi. hiring spree chal rahi thi and the persons had like 3 years of experience and they wrote that ethereum which is a blockchain and it is notorious for very high transaction fees up to like 100 dollars and they wrote in that article that ethereum fees can go up to as high as 1 dollar i'm like kis zamane mein kabhi aisa hua nahi hai maybe like ico jab hua very interesting learning here because an 18 year old is going to hear 3 plus 4 7 ghanta 1000 dollar Mm-hmm. but they are not realizing the barrier to entry to get there they are not realizing mm-hmm. the years of effort mm-hmm. months of work that she must have also spent building that network of course This but kaisa hai like how does web3 work yeah. so, and what is it all about abhi abhi bull run chal raha hai kabhi nahi chalega right yes, so kya isme enter karna chahiye karna chahiye to kya sochna chahiye what should be the mindset you both can share your thoughts okay you want to go for it okay Awesome. So one more thing that I'll say that even though the barrier to entry is high, it's also because people don't try. Like nice. when we turned right. the Web three cohort that we did, so we did a small Web three cohort where we taught fifty people, like around Web three, we gave them practical tasks where they actually went and interacted with the protocol, and then they did all of the tasks. And then at the end, when we were hiring for an agency, we could directly hire them because they went mm-hmm. through the entire thing. They have a much higher understanding than people who have like two plus years of experience. Mm-hmm. So it's more about. the kind of effort that you put in understanding that i feel like people can learn web3 in one or two months as well if you do put in that effort of course like you won't understand the nuances but the basics should be good enough to do in one to two months and after that it just gets better like as you train under experienced people as you go and work with agencies or you train under like the person who ripped my article to shreds if you get people like that who teach you that it it becomes really easy and uh, uh bull run and everything my opinion there is bull runs are the time to get money bear markets are the time to build bear markets where the price is actually not really that high build what build your network build your uh, portfolio build that entire uh, structure of how you want your uh, freelancing journey to be your network go to conferences go and uh, explore because bull markets what happens is things go very fast 
mm-hmm. you won't get the time mm. and you will always feel like you're missing out because this this coin is really really going pumping and going really mm-hmm. high and this you'll always feel like you're missing out and you're not uh, there but bear markets are much more slower and really really good to build like it's actually similar to ai for example like ai boom mein sab koi ko ai mein ghusna tha and bahut entry barrier tha because starting se learn karna tha but jab ai itna hype nahi tha if you started just a bit ago i think ai was always then, hype like no, from 2014 15 no. when the whole thing came the data science is the highest paid job of sf <laughs> i think and then it sort of got into the mainstream yeah. then chat gpt made it what it is today yeah chat yeah. i was i was uh, saying pre chat gpt yeah 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 things like that so for uh, web3 specifically i feel like these market cycles which are actually going to get stabilized uh, in my opinion because of the etf and everything that's going on so etf is a um, trading instrument from, which is like from the us government and they have released that uh, bitcoin etf so a lot of institutional money is flowing into uh, mm. bitcoin so usme kya hota hai ki big corporations come and uh, invest into bitcoin to fir wo wo jo volatility hai market ka wo thoda kam ho jata hai because hmm. these corporations hold to dheere 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 kya hota hai that they start behaving similar to stock markets jaise wo jayega waise to dheere dheere volatility kam hoga but of course we are not at that stage yet but for me bull runs are the time to sort of uh, like implement what you learned in the bear market and not wait like for example 2021 ka tha from 2021 and 2023 was like for me specifically that was the time i was building everything so that i could reap the benefits mm-hmm. in this it's not too late the uh, honestly i feel like bull run is not here yet it's still aur upar jayega abhi abhi having hogi fir kuch kuch not financial hoga. advice <laughs> hona chahiye <laughs> apparently shayad <coughs> shayad not financial advice but other but aapka hunch hai ki hoga yeah the kind of demand the kind of retail interest and everything that was there in 2021 we are not yeah. there yet seeing that yeah feel like right. the kind mm. of uh, people that are here the, the investor demographic that is actually driving the market right now is mostly like etf people the institutions and everything तो फिर अब वो क्या होता है कि वो डिफरेंट हो जाता है रिटेल अभी तक आया नहीं है तो वो जब आएगा ना तब यू विल सी व्हाट अ बुल रन लुक्स लाइक इन माय ओपिनियन नॉट फाइनेंशियल से होल्ड करके रख रखा है तो मैंने भी लेके बैठा हूं मैं ऊपर हूं नीचे मैंने खोला ही नहीं है दोस्तों शुड आई इन्वेस्ट हां आंसर आंसर आई हैवंट इन्वेस्टेड गुड गुड क्वेश्चन यार पास इट टू द वेब 3 कंसल्टेंट कंसल्ट अस नो लाइक जेन्युइनली लाइक जेन्युइनली आस्क आई थिंक आई मीन इफ यू आर पुटिंग इट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टर्म डजंट मैटर बट जनरली अब बुला गया दिस इज यूजुअली द टाइम टू सेल एंड यू नो डाउन साइड रादर देन बाइंग euphoria hasn't kicked in as she said abhi retail nahi aaya retail if retail comes in this market ya yeah, fir like there's no hype right people don't even know ki all time highs have been reached to so, the all time highs se do teen guna market jati hai that's the prediction of most big traders right now um yeah is when retail comes in but usually this is the time to dump or you know hold do not okay, buy a lot of Hodal. people are not saying hold. that we are in like a middle of the bull run right hmm. not the peak but okay. in the middle but of course i do see ki short term mein there might be fluctuations and that is the opportunity for you to buy when there are fluctuations where there are slight dumps that is the opportunity to buy yep. diamond hands is all i saw <laughs> and i lost 1 lakh rupees i mean all of us did in the luna ust tier oh, oh. thing oh you did nice <laughs> nice <laughs> and they're back That's like, like stable coins are back but for say algorithmic stable coins are back this cycle yeah. so happens every cycle it's yeah. like it's the same playbook every nee, but how does someone get into this field your thoughts I, she mentioned it pretty well it's you first have to learn the nuances what is a blockchain why was bitcoin introduced what does bitcoin do how does it even work if you understand that then you can understand what are the problems in bitcoin to ethereum kyun aaya and then ethereum lets you program on top of the blockchain then you can understand ethereum was very slow as she mentioned 100 dollar fees to solana kyu aaya why are other layer 1 protocols coming um, every blockchain is the same every blockchain has the same use cases people are either buying nfts either buying stable coins meme or coins. meme coins so it's not the <laughs> most legit Doge. use case Doge, yeah. Uh, but yeah so yeah as she she put it perfectly there's a lot of demand uh, for you know even for developers or you know everything else uh, but people don't know the nuances people are scared of the industry ke upar niche jati hai mm. but if you stack during the bear beat your knowledge or you know your portfolio bull is the time to yeah. just reap mm. the rewards and uh, for people who are just starting i would like to add that you can start from uh, a lot of communities that are based out of like web3 is a very open space where honestly you can get in touch with billionaires 
in yeah. like a discord discord community. server okay. yep. okay it's wow. like insane the level of access i have an nft which was airdropped i will not talk about that but i with that i got access to a billionaire mm-hmm. which was like she was there chatting that's all like it's insane level Kya of access kya baat kar <laughs> confidential <laughs> okay all right consulting fees <laughs> but but do you guys think there is is a gap right here in terms of content like yeah. these kind of content are not really out there yeah. like of course like i don't know anything about like blockchain or bitcoin yeah. uh, or... can i finish like where exactly they can yeah, go sure. because i feel like this is the place where people get stranded a lot of youtube influencers who talk about crypto are also really not accurate honestly i get angry when they talk about them uh, because there is so much inaccuracy that like the top tier youtubers sometimes they are not really very accurate on what they say especially when there is a bull run 2021 and all everything was just going crazy and people were coming up with their own definitions but these kind of communities these are uh, discord servers daos there's a super team dao which is done by atanmay bhat i believe uh, that is a very good uh, school meta school is very good for developers there are uh, a couple of uh, sites which actually help you learn solidity from beginning in a storytelling manner which is solidity is a development language for web3 Uh, you can also do uh, quests, which is like um, so. Uh, crypto me, ye bhi hota hai air drops karke. So when you interact with the blockchain, they, you actually get rewarded for doing that interaction with the blockchain. So there are sites which help you do this through a structured manner while teaching you. Hmm. So that's called. There are uh, sites like Build Space is also three. very good. I think. Yeah, Build Space is one of the good India ones. India, no. Right. Build Space is built by Farza. Uh, Farza kya? Farza, he lives in SF, but he's from Pakistan. I think. Uh, तो और कौन really सी अपसेट्स हैं ऐसे सीख सकते हैं मतलब लेयर थ्री करके है वे यू कैन डू क्वेस्ट एल ए वाई आर थ्री द नंबर थ्री दे यू कैन डू क्वेस्ट यू कैन स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक क्वेस्ट वेर दे टीच यू वॉट इज बिट कॉइन वॉट इज इथीरियम इट्स मोर लाइक code academy style but not you're not really doing coding but it will teach you like layer by layer and then you get a little bit of rewards for it That's as true. well uh, meta school hai just say you can uh, meta school dot so where you can learn development specifically so you t- go through their modules and they will teach you blockchain development from scratch and when you finish one chapter you get awarded an nft for it hmm. so sites like these are really really helpful twitter twitter pe lists banao um of the people in the space they will really really help because web3 is so fast moving that you will not understand it unless and until you have a grasp from all of these not one all of these hmm. um there are newsletters milk road is a very good newsletter mando minutes is a very good newsletter to keep track of the markets uh, i actually also have like a free resource for web3 specifically for people who want to start like lipsa.gumroad.com there uh, i have compiled a couple of youtube channels right. is and right and then you can just like people used to ask me what is web3 so mm-hmm. i just did that compilation especially during 2021 and right now it's coming back but uh, yeah these are some of the sites that you can go and start your journey here first okay. client yes uh-huh. yes kar do shuru oh i am also very interested in this <laughs> oh first client kaise mila kahan mila aur kitna pay kiya acha mujhe yaar first client basically main youtube videos bana raha tha to main tech youtube videos 2011-12 we started broadly और हम 2015 तक हमने ऑलमोस्ट रेगुलरली बनाया देन एक डेढ़ साल का ब्रेक लिया और 2016 में कॉलेज चला गया मैं तो 11-12 में बेसिकली फ्रीक्वेंसी कम हो गई थी ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम 11-12 में मुझे याद नहीं एग्जैक्ट महीना तो बट समबडी रीच आउट थ्रू माई पर्सनल कनेक्ट तो मैं फेसबुक पर डालता रहता था वीडियोज़ व्हाट्सएप पे व्हाट्सएप में तब हाइक होता था हाइक पे हम ग्रुप पे मैं भेजता रहता था तो बेसिकली जहाँ पे भी आई कुड शेमलेसली प्लग माई वीडियोज़ आई यूज टू एंड अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड सॉ दैट वीडियो ऑन माई फेसबुक देन ही रीच आउट टू मी कि यार उसको कोई दोस्त को एक टेक चैनल शुरू करना है एंड ही इज़ लुकिंग फॉर अ क्रिएटर सो आई देन मेड सिक्स वीडियोज फाइव थाउजेंड ईच आई वुड राइट द स्क्रिप्ट आई वुड शूट इट आई वुड रिकॉर्ड द टूटोरियल एंड डू एवरी The funny part is we actually gave someone a freelance gig before we freelanced. Um, so as a company, अब मैं उसको freelance नहीं बोलूँगा, but we had made websites before. Mm. But क्योंकि मैंने अकेले नहीं करा था, तो technically that's agency work. And we ended up hiring other people to do things. हमारा in fact, if you go on YouTube, you'll find an 11-12 year old video where there's a beautiful flash animation that uh, we got done from this uh, 
डेली बेस्ड एनिमेटर फॉर आर यूट्यूब चैनल हमने उसको हज़ार या पंद्रह अठारह सौ रुपये दिए थे ऐसे एंड पैसे भी नहीं दिए थे ही वॉज ऑल्सो एन एलेवंथ ट्वेल्थ क्लास स्टूडेंट एंड ही सेट दैट आई कान टेक मनी सो आई डोंट यू पे मी इन थिंग्स एंड आई विल लाई टू माई पेरेंट्स दैट फ्लिपकार्ट ने मुझे फ्री में गिफ्ट करा तो वी सेंट एम ग्लोबल ऑफेंसिव एक कोई गेमिंग माउस समथिंग लाइक दिस और वो पैकेज बना के जो जितने का भी बना वॉज आवर पे आउट टू दैम सो इंडिविजुअली माई फर्स्ट गिग वॉज मच लेटर टूगेदर विद द सॉर्ट ऑफ टीम दैट वी हेड फॉर्म इट वॉज मच अर्लियर स्कूल में थे सो दैट वॉज द स्टार्ट ऑफ द फ्री लैंस जर्नी जॉब और फ्री लैंसिंग इन योर फील्ड वॉट इज मोर लुक्रेटिव वॉट वुड यू डू इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर स्टार्टिंग आउट What would I do? Yeah, if you were like a 18 yeah. year old, no skills. What would you pick first? I would uh, depends, right? Let's say I'll I'll talk video. So, one step ahead, let's say right. That video me hai kya kya? Bhot bada field hai video. So, video broadly pre, then production, then post production. So, pre production has you could become a strategist. So, you could tell brands this is what you should do in video content. That's number one. Then you could become a content writer or a script writer. Right, then you could become a planner. There are line producers, producers. There are a lot of such fields, right? So this is pre. All of this is before. Is set to come. So before you decide that I will do a podcast. In the podcast, there will be four disciplines of people. This will be the person. That's all pre-production. Okay, so in that, this knowledge is not required. That's a very, very lucrative skill. Okay, so in that, this knowledge is not required. That's a very, very lucrative skill. Okay, so in that, this knowledge is not required. That's a very, very lucrative skill. Okay, so in that, this knowledge is not required. That's a very, very lucrative skill. Okay, so in that, this knowledge is not required. That's a very, very production as a dop jo shoot kar raha hai production as a light man a gaffer these are all jobs on set um koi hoga na jisne try kara hoga ki lights kaise hain sound zyada baithe hain that's production uh iske andar again there are many tiers of a job you could uh, start like i started by assisting people back in the day and then moved up to being a director you know director is the uh, usually the highest paid on set apart from the producer jo ki usually ya to paisa dal raha hota hai ya fir manage kar raha hota hai cheeze then there is post post is where the noise online actually is mm. which is design illustrations animation editing, editing um vfx um sound post production music creation all of that um who noise is liye zyada because it's the easiest to get into why because uh, you could do post production remotely also very easily production ke liye yahan pe hona padega and even pre production log karte hain remotely but a lot of them uh, a lot of the higher paying gigs demand you to be on set um so now if i had to start first i would figure out what interests me the most uh the ability to understand these three is very simple you google you know we have a thing in our we call it jfgi uh, just fucking google it i think a lot of things are just a matter of you uh, being able to you know on a very persistent level google any so, tip to google like yeah any tip to google is uh, uh, just uh, be specific of of what you want uh, but agar wo nahi pata specificity comes when you have some knowledge yeah. uh, just be persistent to aisa mat you know my biggest problem with the people uh, who are young today and i voice it out very often is that uh, there's a lot of impatience pehle do link ke pehle paragraph ke pehle word mein mujhe sab kuch mil jaye wo nahi hota uh, the gold you have to dig deep to find gold राइट right? गलती से तुम्हें कुछ मिल जाए तो दैट्स लक दैट्स नॉट अ प्रोसेस सो माय ओनली रिकमेंडेशन इज की बी परसिस्टेंट पढ़ो इट इज फाइन टू रीड टेन आर्टिकल्स व्हिच आर बैड राइट एट लीस्ट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग देन फाइंड द 11th वन um एनीवे कमिंग टू द पॉइंट सो यू पिक दिस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट डज इट टेक अंडरस्टैंड कि तुम कहां पे जैसे मैं रोहतक में था तो मैं तो प्रोडक्शन तो सीख ही नहीं सकता था राइट सो आई स्टार्टेड विद एडिट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट आई हैड अ कंप्यूटर सो आई वाज फॉर्चूनेट इनफ टू हैव अ कंप्यूटर start with editing so that's the number one thing second would i do a job or freelance it really depends upon uh, like it multiple factors my ability to take a risk can i over the next one year go without making nil money then i would freelance mm. um if i don't have that risk taking ability i would do a job right um second am i comfortable doing let's say video editing as a skill plus selling it plus managing the client plus doing accounting work falana dumkan all of this then i should freelance mm-hmm. but if i love what i do if i do not want to be this person who is sab kuch kar raha hai but get very good at one one core skill set then i would do a job so there are many filters it's never a right or wrong answer different people different things suit them when i began 
um i freelanced because i could afford to freelance right. i was young i could take a big risk my parents didn't necessarily t- t- told me ki yaar hame paisa chahiye tumse har mahina wo risk le sakta tha which meant i had a lot of months where i did not make money in fact hell a lot of months where i was losing money why because abhi ssd khareedni hai abhi hard disk khareedni hai abhi laptop khareedna hai log samajhte nahi hai ki when you are a freelancer you're pretty much running a one person startup hmm. which has expenses as well that comes along with it so it depends सो बेसिस दैट आई वुड देन चूज कि जॉब मेरे लिए सही है फ्री लांस सही है हमारी इंडस्ट्री में ना जॉब्स रीपन मनी अ लिटिल लेटर दैट्स अ फ्री लांस सीम्स ल्यूक्रेटिव क्योंकि ना क्विक मनी मिल जाता है बट इनिशियली जॉब्स करना एक्चुअली काफ़ी बेनिफिशियल है इट गिवज यू द फर्स्ट थ्री फोर फाइव ईयर्स आई फील इफ यू कान टेक अ बिग रिस्क डू अ जॉब अंडरस्टैंड द मकैनिज्म मेक कनेक्शन समझो कि कैसे चल रही हैं चीज़ें गलतियाँ समझो सी जिस तुम कंटेंट स्टूडियो एजेंसी में हो कि वो क्या गलती कर रही है एंड देन यू कैन ऑलवेज मूव टू फ्रीलांस लाइफ बहुत लंबी है यार ऐसा नहीं है कि आज ही फ्रीलांस करना और कल जॉब यू कैन ऑलवेज यू नो एंड देन लास्टली इफ यू आर फ्री लांसिंग देन फॉरगेट अ फोर्टी आवर वर्क वीक आई ट्रूली मीन इट देर आर फ्री लांसर्स देर आर टू थ्री फ्री लांसर्स ऑनलाइन हो टीच हु टॉक अबाउट वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस आई थिंक दैट्स बुलशिट इफ यू आर एन ऑन्टरप्रन और इफ यू आर अ फ्री you may achieve work life balance after a point of time but to expect that on day 0 or even day 100th is ridiculous i mean props to you massive respect to you if you have been able to do it but if i were to recommend my younger self i would never recommend my younger self in a way ki bhai tu to achieve kar hi lega abhi tak nahi kar raha maine to mujhe lagta hai to i think uh, if growth is your biggest target if you have chosen freelance then forget weekends for some time and that sometime could go as long as 2 3 years forget stable income allow yourself to be very much okay with ambiguity agle mahine paisa aayega nahi aayega mujhe nahi pata i'm telling you even at this stage i speak to so many larger agencies which are doing 30 40 crores in revenue they like yaar are you sure we we are not breaking even this month oh so it is not easy to live in that ambiguity that 20th of the month is there salaries will you know will go between 1st to 7th in a usual company in the next 10 days i have to turn a profit mm. so this is what i would recommend a younger person interesting what would it be for you i'm just like thinking whatever he said there's so <laughs> much so much value in whatever he's talking about well, basically he's saying that there is no world in which a person can automate their work with chat gpt or ai or something that can enable them to work maybe 10 hours a week and then make similar amount of money so not at the beginning yeah, yeah. not at the beginning yeah so there that are? dream that is sold on to them is not as yeah. real or has like a it small right tnc dream. applied to it it is a right dream just mm-hmm. takes a lot of time to yeah. get there like i i don't like aman gadzi mm-hmm. i have a very controversial opinion on that guy because that guy tries to sell his lifestyle to somebody in a in a matter of like a couple of months a client your first month is going to be your 10k month no it's not going to be your 10k month you know aur ho bhi gaya na to tum retain nahi kar paoge usko yeah to you can that dream is very much possible it's just that it's very difficult it takes time and just because two out of 1000 people got there fast does not mean that's the norm survive survivor bias mein jeete hain Hmm. हम एक उस सक्सेसफुल इंसान को देख लेते हैं जिसने हमारा पाथ पाथ फॉलो करके जीत गए बट हम उन हजार लोगों को नहीं देखते हैं जो नहीं पहुंच पाए सो इट इज गुड टू बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक बट नॉट टू बी डिल्यूशनल and i think the people who have got there also have gone through ups and downs and that yeah. the growth is not linear at all like for example for our agency also i told you we had like a multi purpose like general content agency where it was volume at scale which we had to wind down what about those people mm. we had to slowly wind down we had to slowly cut people and that was a terrifying decision to make and terrible decision on them as well but we knew that we could not sustain that and that's why we scrapped the entire thing and built a new agency from that and and uh, obviously in the beginning we started freelancing because i truly believe like as an agency owner you should be responsible you should know every part of your skill so koi fuck up ho gaya to you can get in and you know fix things interesting but um, I-, i do sincerely believe that at least one of the co-founders should have some knowledge that's how core we started skillset. yeah core skills guy skills core skill set sorry uh, so for like for writing for specifically i can take over for uh, anish can take over the community management aspect of things so at least like mm, when nice. our 
people don't uh, are not available or there's an emergency or there's a crisis or we don't have the bandwidth we are we can f- uh, take over and fill that problem and then maintain that client relationship so again like closing down that agency building a new one starting all over because that was more at scale this was more specialized the mm-hmm. kind of skill set the kind of hiring that goes into it is completely different you have to learn from scratch again so doing that is like you only see one point where the person has become successful but what about the down the complete zero and then going up again right. that also mm-hmm. happens right so gumroad ka jo founder hai na he says something very interesting साहिल हाँ तो उसने एक पॉडकास्ट में बोला था कि अ बैंड शुड बी रन बाय म्यूजिशियंस बेसिकली वो कह रहे हैं कि अगर तुम कोडर नहीं हो तो तुम टेक कम नहीं मत शुरू करो बट द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज ऐसा ट्रू नहीं है फंडामेंटली अ लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज हाँ बहुत सारी कंपनीज आई एम श्योर जो कि आर द फाउंडर्स आर दे डिड नॉट नो द को डिसप्लिन देवर जस्ट हसलर्स मेरा बिलीफ है कि मुझे लगता आना चाहिए स्पेशली एजेंसी में एजेंसी स्पेशली हाँ बट इसके हैं कहीं पहलू हैं आई नो पीपल हु आर हु जस्ट आर ट्रेडर्स जिनको सही लोगों को जोड़ना आता है और वो खुद उनके पास वो स्किल नहीं है बट कंपनी के पास स्किल है mm-hmm. तो मुझे नहीं पता वो कैसे करते हैं बट ऐसा पॉसिबल तो है बट आई डू थिंक एट वन पॉइंट दे विल दे विल नीड टू लर्न अदरवाइज दे विल गेट ईटन अप बाय द अदर पीपल एज़ वेल मे बी हां मतलब मुझे भी ऐसा लगता है बट देन देन आई गेट प्रूवन रॉन्ग दिस इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ स्टीव जॉब्स एंड टिम कुक राइट लाइक टिम कुक इज नॉट the visionary guy that steve jobs was yeah. mm-hmm. but he was still amazingly good at supply chain management yeah. which mm-hmm. is what they needed at that point in time that point. and that is what got apple from where it was in 2011 to where it is today mm-hmm. yeah i was asking you yeah. anik job or freelancing in the world of design so okay what is more lucrative and what should people go with okay interestingly um i haven't done a job okay i've only done like three internships one was there in pwc one was and you're still in college yeah yeah so and this, the other two was very like like startups okay like very like early age startups and those were like media companies or like digital marketing agencies and interestingly the third startup which was there i was trying to leave the startup because i could see potential in my own page and my own skill set so i was like okay i think i did like 3 months cutting i'm leaving the guy didn't let me leave he's like i'm going to give you a blank check you put in whatever amount you want salary every month and i'm not letting you leave God, so <laughs> amazing digital uh, marketing mein so hai yeah yeah wow uh, so that happened and obviously i had to take the decision of leaving the company because um, i really wanted to explore what i can do okay and then i started making reels on instagram and then i started doing so i would say if anyone wants to get in the space of design um it's very important to because design is a thing which you can't do alone it's it's something when you want to go into large scale it's something you need a team mm-hmm. you need to have good communication you need to have good project management skills team management c- c- communicating with your partners and people who are going to work with you so uske liye being a freelancer becomes very lonely like you're talking to clients but you're not talking to other people who are working with you you're the only one working with yourself yeah. so i would say i adv- advise you again i just said to build connections uh, when someone has a not not a lot to lose mm. do job uh you can you can uh, learn so much in uh, working in startups or in uh, like the big fours and stuff like that and then uske baad you get a structure of how things are working around what the manager is doing how you have to report to the manager okay so you get an understanding of what's happening there and then you can sort of start freelancing the the reason why i did not do a job was because uh, maybe it was a luck for me or something like that because I started getting a lot of uh, traction on instagram because of that i started getting a lot of clients and yeah. i had to cater to those clients like mm-hmm. till date i get at least like 15 20 clients a day oh. so like and i can only close about like 1 or 2% a month so and because of that i have shaped into a company because as a freelancer i can't cater to so much inbound which is coming and that's purely but just showing my work on the internet mm-hmm. purely mm-hmm. based on that he was telling me his uh, onboarding strategy unko <laughs> number deta hai apna apna phone number de diya फिर वो है हाई बोलते हैं राइट व्हाट व्हाट इज इट सो सो आई टेल यू हाउ इट वर्क्स ओके हैव माय देयर टू थ्री वेज इट हैपेंस आई हैव माय वेबसाइट वेबसाइट पे देयर इज यू फिल लाइक योर नेम व्हाट यू वांट व्हाट यू लुकिंग फॉर व्हेन यू सेंड दैट दैट ईमेल कम्स टू माय इनबॉक्स एंड आई कॉपी पेस्ट देयर नंबर ऑन व्हाट्सएप एंड सेंड देम अ हाई व्हेन दे सी देयर माय डीपी दे कैन बी एक्साइटेड ओ 
he samne se texted me i can get a higher person and do this logistic work but i'm doing it samne se i wanted to have that personal feel mm. ki he cares about us he is talking to us directly and then i make a group with parth and then they both connect and they take it forward wow. so i am like the first person then parth and then again i come to the picture mm. that's what i try to do amazing amazing this is very good this is very this is very unscalable yeah. it's but, something uh, which is working for me i don't know how it's going to go on later but um yeah I, it really matters how do how do you do it like how do how does the client come to you um, i'll first comment on on this thing it's very nice to do this because a lot of uh, like people for a lot of reasons come to smaller agencies because they need people who care mm. like when when an agency grows no it's not because the founder is evil but mm. the founder will not have time once they are handling 200 people which means that the they will not get atten- there's a high chance that a smaller client will not get attention from a top guy they want me to tell them the give strategy they want but a smaller client get can get the founders of the founder of a smaller agency ka attention um and usually choti choti agencies ke founders bhi bahut smart hote hain yani ek is a good example super smart guy very good at design um i think that that it really helps it's unscalable uh but good to do unscalable things in the beginning hamari bhi jaise shuruaat thi hum bhi bahut chote hain abhi right so in our scale also um i don't speak uh but my number is actually very easily available um and people can reach out to me if they want to my email is very like publicly available i reply to all my emails if i don't then the email is bad uh right but any client who reaches out to me i have a very good essence of who is reaching out when now ways of reaching out are very simple uh, we don't reply to instagram dms uh, right if, and mere thoda na harsh opinions are life mein मुझे लगता है कि अगर कोई क्लाइंट मस्ती में इंस्टाग्राम पे डीएम करना तो सीरियस ही नहीं है तो मैं उनसे बात ही नहीं करता हमें हमें काम ही नहीं करना नॉन सीरियस क्लाइंट्स हम वी आर वेरी डिसिप्लिन एंड सीरियस अबाउट आवर वर्क हमारा क्रिएटिव ऑफिस इज नॉट अ लाला लैंड हम हम डांस नहीं करते और हमारे में सेलिब्रेशन नहीं हो रही होती कि क्रिएटिव कंपनी है तो नो वी आर वेरी डिसिप्लिन विच मीन्स आई ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्ट द क्लाइंट टू बी डिसिप्लिन इफ द क्लाइंट इज नॉट ऑन टाइम वी टेक दट वेरी सीरियसली एंड वी पास ऑन द फीडबैक यू शुड हैव बीन ऑन टाइम आज तो टाइम पे नहीं था मैंने मैंने पास ऑन करना तो फीडबैक तो सिमिलर इज द केस आई ओनली लुक एट पीपल हु फॉर्मली फिल अ फॉर्म ऑन ई मेल और दे ई मेल एज डायरेक्टली वी हैव एन ई मेल कॉल बी डी एट द रेट आउल मीडिया डॉट कॉम सो दैट्स नंबर वन एंड नंबर टू इज रेफरल्स पीपल आर वेरी काइंड अभी डोंट हैव सेल्स टीम बट आस पास लोग बहुत अच्छे हैं कि हमें रेफर करते रहते हैं जैसे ईशान तुझे अगर कोई मिला जिसको आई पी एल एड बनवानी है तो कह गया आई नो अ गाई कैन डू अ जॉब फॉर यू सो वी हैव बीन फॉर्चुनेट इनफ कि हमारे जो लोग हैं इंडस्ट्री में वो दे कीप सपोर्टिंग अस एंड देन थर्ड इज आउट बाउंड आउट बाउंड इज जब मैं रीच आउट करूँ राइट वो इतना ज़्यादा नहीं होता बट वेन एवर इट हैपन्स दैन ऑफकोर्स द लाइन ऑफ कनेक्ट कुड बी व्हाट्सएप इंस्टाग्राम लिंक इन ई मेल वट एवर सो दिस इज हाउ इट हैपन्स राइट नाउ got it very interestingly you know um, i have not known him for a very long time but jitna i have known him that he is a guy is very disciplined and that you know reflects in how you run your company and him is? what kind of Ayush. you know work you do how you yes, yes. so um, it's very interesting to see that also like your nature your personality reflects on how you work how your team members work how you build your entire com- company and how you work with clients so, i want to yeah. come back to this part like how do you reach out to clients and on- onboard them but before i want to like finish off with this this question job or freelancing for developer or as a writer arkira um i think pretty much opinions remain the same if you're okay taking risks then freelancing is more lucrative that said um if you want to get equity in a company um then you know full time join karo as a founding engineer or as an early engineer get some equity and you know grind <clears throat> because that can be worth a lot um it's risk reward pretty much the same as you know any other niche um but yeah early in your career if you don't can't take a lot of risk then just get a full time job the only nuance here would be that you know at the very least don't restrict yourself to you know an on site job or fang maybe try for a remote job developer developing is one niche jahan pe you know it's more lucrative to work for people outside india than than mm. india um mm. so if there's one thing you can take from the podcast it's ke thoda bahar dhundne ki koshish karo the ppp is you know pretty lucrative if you're working Parity. from india Parity. yeah the ppp is purchasing power pair acha acha so i know a lot of people who are working in like top tech companies hmm. and wo weekends pe as a developer wo kaam karte rehte hain on ah, exactly. projects yep. so that is very common pretty good strategy yeah, that's i think that's a thing that people so full time job ke sath freelancing yeah. ha ah, mujhe ah, bhi acha lagta hai wo agar half of top tal is yeah. that half of top tal is full time employees working in bangalore and you know full time 40 hours bound work hai 40 hours wahan hai 80 hour work week but a lot of companies are not okay with that a lot of yeah, yeah, no one tells companies, companies. Like, no one's okay with that no one's okay with that right so 
ये किसी को बताना मत लो देख रहे हो तो अगर बहुत सारी सीक्रेट इज अलाउ भी करती हैं हां जैसे हमारा रूल है कि अनलेस यू आर नॉट वर्किंग विद आउल्स डायरेक्ट कंपेरेटिव देन यू कैन फ्रीलांस ऑन द वीकेंड बट इट्स आल्सो वेरी हार्ड टू टेल फॉर एग्जांपल द एडिटर हु वाज वर्किंग विद मी फॉर माय वीडियोस फॉर 3 इयर्स एट अ स्ट्रेच ही जस्ट worked with our competitor without even our information Hold we that. only got to know it because the client of that competitor is followed by my manager who works with me and he noticed ki same edit hai mm-hmm. and he was like ki bhai ye to edit isi ne kiya hoga matlab to we asked because our confidence usne bola ki ha that that person reached out mm-hmm. and i worked for him and now i'm like ki bhai ye kyun hua i gave him a full yeah. full time offer he rejected that mm-hmm. he went and worked with that other, other company now और हमारे साथ भी होता है मतलब वी फाउंड थ्री फॉर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ पीपल वर्किंग विद आर कंपेरेटर्स यू कैन फाइंड पीपल इट्स पेनफुल समटाइम्स यू डोंट समटाइम्स यू लेट लेट इट गो बट वी डोंट वी आई डू कंफ्रंट एंड बिकॉज देन व्हाट डू यू डू देन यार इट रियली डिपेंड्स राइट मतलब यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई द पर्सन डिड इट वर दे अनहैप्पी एट द जॉब डिड दे नीड मोर मनी इज देयर सम अदर प्रॉब्लम सरफेस लेवल पे नहीं होती ना चीजें बहुत बार ऐसा नहीं है कि उनका इंटेंशन था कि मैं माल प्रैक्टिस करूंगा हो सकता है दे जेन्युनली नीडेड द मनी बहुत कुछ हो सकता है इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू टॉक टू द पर्सन इफ द इंटेंशन इज टू इफ आई सी इन द कॉन्वर्जेशन कि आर दिस पर्सन विल जस्ट लीव एनी टाइम सो माई डज वेल जस्ट लेट दम गो राइट नाउ बट इफ इट्स इफ देर आर इशूज इच आर डीपर कि उनको काम में मजा नहीं आ रहा अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल डोंट फ्री लैंस बिकॉज ऑफ मनी दे ऑल्सो फ्री लैंस बिकॉज उनको एक्साइटिंग काम नहीं मिल रहा होता कंपनी में सो दे वन एग्जाम्पल दट हैपन टू अस बॉड ईयर एंड हाफ अगो मोटा मोटा ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू के स्टार्ट में होता दो दो साल होगा एक्चुअली दिस पर्सन वॉज नॉट गेटिंग इनफ गुड गिग्स विद एन आउल एंड देन ही शोड मी इज वर्क इज लाइक देखो मैं ये बाहर कर रहा हूँ दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई कॉट समी डूइंग फ्री लैंस फॉर आर कंपेटर्स एंड आई एम लाइक दिस इज अमेजिंग वर्क वाई डू आर नॉट नो ऑफ दिस सो आई रियलाइज इन एफिशंसी इन आर सिस्टम कि आई एम ओनली नॉट एबल टू एक्नोलेज एंड अंडरस्टैंड द इनक्रेडिबल टैलेंट दैट इज देयर इन माई टीम सो इट मेड अस हैव अ कल्चर शिफ्ट एंड नाउ uh now that guy doesn't work with us anymore but he did work with us for longer than that time and during that time we gave him a lot more gigs hmm. so uh bahut sari reasons hote hain yeah. it's not just one reason makes sense makes sense i think what is you, you know like also trying to say that your employees you should treat them as humans and not machines ye to mun se aise kaam nahi kara rahe ho they are people they are your team they are working with you together so keep close with them of course when we had a smaller company like the other company that i was talking about we actually had a lot of culture where people used to go and work at other jobs and then come back to us because they loved working with us we mm. had like a lounge where people would like randomly like you said right it's a creative company but you are a discipline but we are very very small startup right so we had like direct connects with employees so we used to chill with them we took them to goa every all of that so that actually oh. built so much trust that people didn't want to leave us yeah. at all a yeah. lot of people from that company actually transferred over to this one as well because they just want that we want to work with you no matter yeah. in what capacity even if other people are paying them more they want to work with us because we give them that flexibility they like yeah. working with us mm-hmm. but discipline does not mean you you don't have of course, fun of course of course discipline is there is a time to have fun and there is a time to uh, like when completely like goa for example when we when we went for our goa offsite theek hai you you enjoy you yeah. know but you come back aisa nahi hai ki ab tum har weekend ke baad hang over aa rahe ho 12 baje office mein <laughs> so i think discipline is ki aaj main masti kar raha hu jaise ek main we were discussing right yesterday 5 ghante i was just chilling तो पाँच घंटे मस्ती है पाँच घंटे चिल है बट इफ आई एम ह्योर आई हैव टू बी ह्योर आई कॉन्ट बी कैर आर जस्ट बिकॉज आई हैड अ लॉट ऑफ एल्कोहल आई एम कमिंग वन आर लीड टू शांस पॉडकास्ट सो डिसिप्लिन इज ऑल्सो हैविंग फन एंड डिसिप्लिन एंड for some people it sounds restrictive it's not actually once you get a hang of it i feel yeah i think it's like a fine line it depends on how the founder implements it yeah. so if you say that it makes complete sense like you know not uh, coming on time because of alcohol and everything but if it's like more restrictive in the sense that you know you're not allowing that person to have a off time for themselves yeah. or all of that that doesn't uh, correct go that's not right i think uh, sorry i think people and like especially employees should understand that what discipline they are going to follow it's like it's good for them yeah. it's not like ki you know that it's got only good for us for the company but it's also good for them because if they follow a specific discipline a specific routine they have they'll have enough time to maybe do the other freelance gigs or maybe you know learn something new as well mm. so they should also like understand ki 
if someone is telling you ki you have to be a little disciplined you have to follow a system so it's for them it's they are beneficial but then a uh, discipline na people confuse discipline with rigidity ha hmm. people yeah. confuse discipline with the uh, authority aisa nahi hai in fact some of my most if you meet some of our team members on the face of it very chill laid back aaram se baithe honge relax kar rahe hain that doesn't mean they're not disciplined disciplined is getting shit done Disciplined is uh, I was taking time पे आना एज एन एग्जाम्पल आई डोंट मीन टाइम पे आना मीन्स दस बजे आना आई मीन कि अगर हमने डिसाइड करा है छः बजे शूट शुरू हो रहा है तो छः बजे आना तुम आठ बजे भी सो सुबह फर्क नहीं पड़ता सो डिसिप्लिन का एक डेफिनेशन ये डिसिप्लिन एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इज आर यू इन अ प्रॉपर वे गेटिंग द जॉब डन इन द टाइम दैट यू आर सपोज टू डू इट एंड एट द क्वालिटी दैट इट इज सपोज टू हैपन राइट एंड इफ ऑल ऑफ दिस इज हैपनिंग एंड यू लिव योर लाइफ द वे यू वॉन्ट टू बट डिसिप्लिन रिवॉर्ड्स एवरी वन Mm. So yeah. very important to understand that discipline is not rigidity. When I say that mm-hmm. time pe ao, time pe aana doesn't mean ki aur 10 baje aoge aur sab 10 baje karna hi karna hai. Nahi nahi. It is ki agar humne decide kara hai 10 baje mm-hmm. for that day, then you need to be there at one day. Mm-hmm. Now that 10 a.m. could be 1 p.m., could be 9 p.m., could be 6 p.m. Also. Right. That's yeah, a very good line. Yeah. Discipline rewards everyone. Yeah. Nice. What was it for you? <laughs> like for getting into writing as a field, should job someone or... go for a job or for a? Ah. Okay, so for writing again, it's very similar advice that I would give, where you at at least have like a six months fund or something before. If you have a job, then before quitting that job, you at least should have like a six months fund that you can sustain yourself and have that time to experiment. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do think that for me, uh, what I did was a lot of it was done through college. So I had that time through college, and that's why when I did go for a job, but it was actually mostly because of my parents. They wanted me to have a one-year experience on my resume, and I was happy to do like this coding thing, which I did like coding. So I, I was happy to experiment and learn. But uh, I couldn't wait till the one year was over, honestly. <laughs> but I, but like for writing specifically, I would say um, it's it is a creative field. You will get feedback no matter if you uh, like if you are in a job, you'll get more direct feedback, immediate feedback, and you. you will improve your skills way faster but in a freelance space also you can give provided the client is willing to do that freelancing mm-hmm. mein kya hota hai that people ha- like understand like unless you are going for like like a startup who are not paying you much they understand that the kind of writing you are going to do is going to be high quality they are going to pay you high so you have to deliver that kind of quality and that's not going to happen from the scratch from the right. beginning you'll need some mentorship so i feel like internships are a good way to go in uh, writing in web3 if i say if i uh, transfer that to web3 specifically i would say everything is mostly freelance only it's all mm. contract jobs yeah. like full time jobs bhi contract jobs hi mostly hote hain <laughs> it's hourly connect so web3 mein it's more dynamic in that nature because even the company doesn't know if they are going to be there in 3 yeah. months but oh. <laughs> uh, depends on the company of course if they have raised funding if there are multi billion dollars like some of the companies i have worked with are billion dollar companies so they i know that they are going to last in my retain and is going to be there but for new new projects new things it's very easy to start because it's decentralized you can raise money pretty quickly with the community because there is that uh, hype so a lot of projects do not sustain mm-hmm. but uh, if you target the right kind of uh, people and the right kind of funders they do sustain but every job is mostly a contract job so it, there's not much difference makes sense next part that i want to talk about is portfolio and getting clients you touched upon how how does yeah. that work you also talked about it but harkit i want to know from you as a developer how does one create a portfolio that actually works shows the skills that you have and how do you get clients i think uh, for development it's fairly straight forward just maintain a github i don't think portfolios matter i don't have a portfolio never had one um, mm-hmm. i think it's just hyped ki ha portfolio helps anywhere it might actually mujhe nahi pata But I for sure know that GitHub is something people look at because you know GitHub's it, portfolio. Yeah, you could say that yeah. GitHub is you know it's all your code out there that you've been writing. It's man, look, कोई video editor है उसने अपना सारा edit एक जगह डाल रखा है. It's very similar. Okay, you know <coughs> you don't have to put it on a website. It's already there. Um, I think that's where you should focus. Uh, most companies you can just point them to your code. कि देखो यहाँ पे मैंने ये काम किया है and you know they understand you know how to code. A lot of times you don't even have to interview. अगर तुम्हारा code already open source है. um the best thing you can do is you know uh, be active on github and by active i don't mean you know kuch bhi contribution kar rahe ho make good contributions um and you know if they're open source everyone can look at them and that's the best filtering criteria i feel mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but what about presenting it presenting your code in a nice way i don't think 
so development it doesn't matter too much um presenting your code in a nice way your code should be written well yeah um, but you don't need a pretty website to put it you in. don't need That's a website no, no, no. github mein chahiye hota hai agar front end development kar rahe ho to no of course yeah but this is mostly for back end development both i think even for front end uh, people will look at the code uh, the developer isn't expected to you know design if a non tech person is hiring uh a developer hiring a developer still they wouldn't expect the developer to know how to design um so they weren't critiquing them on their design css nahi dekhenge css kaise likhiye dekhenge um right. but you know, they won't critique them ki acha tum developer ho tum na sundar kyun nahi dikh raha of course mm-hmm. if you'll write creating a website for a client most probably there is a design that you're following to aisa nahi hai ki tum bahut ganda hi kuch dal rahe ho anyways but you will not be judged or ever expected to design as a developer unless you are you are joining as a designer plus front end aajkal ye role bahut common ho gaya hai ki tum design bhi karo aur code bhi karo front end ka Um, but if you're a standard developer, you're not expected to design. You're expect there's a designer in the team. You copy over their designs and you know code codify them. Um, so I don't think people critique mm. based on that. You can always uh, see like show the end product as well. Right? That helps with the designer and then have a portfolio yeah. with yeah. the end yeah. product. Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. Then what happens? Like how do you get clients? Yeah. Total ke alawa. Ha, so uh, ek to few ways. Uh, one is you know the uh, talent networks. Top Total is one. There is one called Brain Trust. There is one called Gigster. There are many. platform this is a very big market you know connecting companies in the us to developers in india um that is one then there is the upwork fiverr wala niche uh, okay, you know you are pitching clients directly versus someone in the middle pitching for you and then number 3 is you approaching people directly on twitter i think twitter is the best place to you know approach companies mm-hmm. because you can directly talk to ctos um and you know have a conversation jitni bhi yc companies hain sabke founders are very reachable on twitter um personally talk to har batch mein jitni bhi companies hain hum मान लो दो सौ कंपनीज आ रही हैं तो दो सौ में से सौ कंपनीज के फाउंडर तो ट्विटर पे हैं विद ऑलमोस्ट वेरी मिनिमल फॉलोअर्स तो इफ यू डीएम देम दे विल रिप्लाई एंड इफ यू ऑफर देम यू नो कि यू हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड आउट यू प्रॉब्ली हैवन ट्रेस मच यू रेज वट एवर बाई सी एस गिवन यू आई विल जॉइन यू एज अ फाउंडिंग इंजीनियर फॉर फिफ्टी के यू एस प्लस वन परसेंट इक्विटी बिकॉज आई एम जॉइनिंग यू सो अर्ली इवन दो आई एम फ्रॉम इंडिया बट यू नो आई कैन स्टिल डेवलप राइट कोड एट द सेम लेवल एज इंजीनियर यू हायर फ्रॉम द यू एस फॉर टू हंड्रेड के आई वर्क in the us time zone mujhe koi problem nahi hai that is one thing you have to you know do you okay with ha for sure est at the very least vaise to pst pst means you'll sleep around 4ish pst is uh, specific specific time specific time that's right. est is a little more do so the west coast east coast ka mm. farak okay. most companies are in sf so pst um that's the best part main to matlab jahan bhi bolta hu sabko ye bolta hu ke directly dm karo ab apna but you know the step step one because the thing about coding is it's not as uh barrier to entry is high it's not like video editing or uh, video editing seek sakte hum jaldi at least you know you can get your first client with a janky video editor very well. quickly yeah you can't do that in coding um mm-hmm. as, there's no you know easy gig easy gig log chat gpt se kara lenge hire nahi karenge apne bhai se kara lenge there are always mm-hmm. good companies and you know good products so there is a good 6 months to a year you'll have to spend learning ye yc trick bahut bahut amazing hai in fact we teach the same in our course I f- I'll tell you what कोल्ड रीच आउट करना लोग सिखा देते हैं देर इज अ बिगर प्रॉब्लम इन फाइंडिंग अ क्लाइंट हु शुड यू रीच आउट टू हाउ आई सी पी आइडियल कंज्यूमर पर्सन हु इज दैट एंड हाउ डू यू फाइंड दैम चल मैंने तुझे बता दिया कि तेरा तो आइडियल कस्टमर पर्सन ऑफ आई सी फाउंडर्स है ना वॉट इज द बेस्ट वे टू गेट द ई मेल्स ऑफ दो आई सी फाउंडर्स विद इन द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स राइट सो दे इज अ थिंग कॉल लिंगडन बुलियन विच आई यूज अ लॉट वेरी 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 इजी टू I have seen quotes and and founder it gives you yeah. the list right. But I'll tell you another like two three trick tri- tricks that you can use to find, especially in digital niches. Yeah. The हम दोनों के niche में. I scroll through Meta Ads library a lot. Mm-hmm. So अब क्या करो Meta Meta Ads library. क्या है ये? So basically uh, Meta or Google uh, पे जो भी ad चला रहे आज it is public. Transparency. Yeah. Correct. Transparency. I can see if you are running an ad. I can type in the name of your page through which you are running an ad, and I will see all the ads that are live right now. So one thing common in our business that I found, and this is the um, it's good for research. Paid content free. Me, they're on. Be this is literally <laughs> a module in my course. But okay. Ah, uh, yar, you meta ads library. Me, na, you go meta ads library. You Google. Pe likho, mil jayega. Us pe, you India select. Karo if Indian clients are is what you're looking for. All ads. Likho, and then you can either type a keyword or the name of the company. Let's say I write food as a keyword. I will get a lot of these ads. Jis jis kya to caption pe food hai. Jis kya to title of the page pe food hai. and i will know all the companies who are running ads now this is this just two things to me number one if somebody is spending money on running the ads that means ki wo digitally savvy hai that means they are looking for people like anik me you um right uh 
इवन कोडर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल और उनका लैंडिंग पेज खराब है तो यू कैन पिच सेकेंड थिंग दैट आई सी इज आई फिल्टर आउट ऑल द कंपनीज जिनका डिज़ाइन एडिट स्टाइल ये सब बहुत ही खराब है राइट दीज आर द कंपनीज हु यू कैन देन पिच कि गाइज यूर डूइंग दिस बैड यूर स्पेंडिंग मनी वाई डोंट यू गेट अ बेटर आर वाई ऑफ योर मनी नो लुक एट द स्किल्स दैट यू कैन सेल योर शी कैन सेल कॉपी राइटिंग टू दोज एड्स बेटर कॉपी राइटिंग ही कैन सेल डिज़ाइन टू दोज फोक्स वहाँ पर लोगों होगा तो लोग उनका रीडू कर सकते हैं जब उनके लैंडिंग पेज पर जाए तो आप वेबसाइट रीडू करके दे सकते हो उनको so when you're starting out uh, this is a great way to get smaller companies mm-hmm. this is not a great technique to get a arno razor pay razor pay nahi milega as a client however it's a great way to get smaller sme sme uh, smes to become your client mm-hmm. um so this is one trick and technique that uh, uh, you know i used to use a lot in fact i still tell my students kya aise tum kitni countless companies hain who are doing terrible work at edit design and if you're starting freelancing you have to make your first 10 20 30 50000 rupees do it through this okay. so main thoda alag focus karta hu bahut log sikha diya email kaise likhte hain hmm. client kaise dhoondna hai indian context mein that i usually focus a lot on uh, upwork fiverr se to mujhe kabhi success mila nahi and i think it's a race to the bottom hmm. we'll talk about that you yeah. were telling about that yeah. so i don't believe in those platforms too much uh, i'm sure there are people who have gotten immense success I feel direct reach out करो client मिलता है uh, retention is much longer and, and I think that that skill is very very helpful to be mm-hmm. able to directly reach out to somebody and close them yeah so regardless of whatever you do what has been working very well for me and my company is uh, creating like this cold outreach workflow in which mm. we have a tool like instantly or uh, Apollo and we find out छाड़ते हैं हम लोग for example we were going to Mumbai uh, last month so you were like you want to meet BFSI companies. वहाँ पे बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी हैव अ कपल ऑफ बी एफ एस आई क्लाइंट्स वी वो लाइक लेट्स एक्सप्लोर दिस सो वी रीच वी क्रिएट अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द कंपनीज दैट हैड अ यूट्यूब चैनल बट वट नॉट ऑप्टिमाइजिंग ऑन इट सो वी मेड दैट लिस्ट एंड वहाँ से अपोलो पे जा करके वी गॉट देअर ई मेल्स ऑल द पीपल वर्किंग ओवर देयर मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट में वी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन ऑल ऑफ दैम शॉर्ट दैम एन ई मेल एंड सम ऑफ दैम रिप्लाइड वी गॉट सेवन मीटिंग्स डन and that was a good starting point for us so that has been very effective word of mouth marketing works but it's also not in your control correct yeah. you can only do so much yeah. yep right? then it is just about the coincidences that end up happening which do happen a lot yeah. but it's still not like in your control ki aaj maine 200 email bhej diya it should yield some traction okay. so us tarah se has been working out very well also um, sorry to yeah, yeah please go ahead it's also also your like quality of work Yeah. you're doing good work you'll Maybe get good get work as oh, well yeah yeah and you know one one interesting story so i think like a month ago i had made a reel 5 second reel where i had followed a trend ki if any brand comments on this video i'll redesign the logo for free so that got like 18.5 <laughs> million views and it got 10.6k comments oh. of brands okay. and i have screenshot proofs so or like 50 followers of mine who saw the comments So, uh, like pitch to that client and got the deal also oh. so like almost like 50 freelancers got gigs because of his comment section comment. Yeah. Yeah. so basically so every weekend they should go on your instagram yeah. and wait for you to upload that review video yep. yeah. amazing <laughs> it's crazy like how things can work there are there's multiple ways you can like get clients so, like yeah, yeah. Uh, and for you uh, getting clients is primarily through instagram and the content you're putting out yes a lot of uh, by like word of mouth as well yeah. yeah a lot of them yeah sometimes you don't realize it because hota kya hai when they reach out to you email pe you don't know how it came from hmm. if they directly reach out to you email pe how do you know it came from if it can be you like ask. yeah you can ask like that's one thing you can ask and get to know but instantly you don't get to know but because uh, when it comes through the website you know okay maybe website dekha bio mein link tha website usse they reach out to that so you get an idea and sometimes you directly just get a message on whatsapp of nowhere and then you sort of understand ki okay so a lot of word of mouth is there then um, yeah emails and stuff like that and for portfolio uh, you've talked about behance behance is there linkedin is also a good place yeah. uh, to get clients i've worked with this brand called hr1 it's uh, i think crm management uh, like a company they they manage um, employees of like companies that are between 20000 to 40000 um so drum and like a lot of these brands and unka logo change kiya tha and the guy his name is karan he gave me like two days to change a logo for this such a big multi million dollar company so and i did it in two days Damn and nice. yeah it's live <laughs> nice. and you charged for the product and not per hour no no i don't charge per hour i don't yeah. do it in design field per hour is like something you should exactly. not do at all yeah. you hmm. are you are you are being criminalized for speed being exactly yeah. you are mm. you are getting penalized for having good speed 
तो उसमें क्यों होता है इन कोड पर आर पीपल डोंट जस्ट ऑन दैट आई मीन हां मतलब इन कोडिंग में पीपल आर नॉट एज फिनिकी के यू नो घंटे बढ़ा दिए या ऐसा कुछ इट इज पर आवर इट इज पर आवर थैंकफुली कंपनीज ट्रस्ट कोडर्स आई डोंट नो दैट्स द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू व्हेन आई हैव फ्रीलांस्ड आई हैव यू नो इंक्रीज्ड आवर्स फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम के 10 के पर 15 कर दिए थैंकफुली इट्स यू नो वेरी हार्ड yeah but if you know because if you're if let's say you someone is not paying you 50 dollars an hour when you feel you're worth 50 dollars an hour you charge them 40 and you know bump up the hours a bit fairly common i'm not saying it's ethical i'm saying it's you know fairly common um if the client is you know a little if it's not open to ke bhai project ke badle mein kar lo a lot of people are like any hourly karna in the end development is one field jahan it's very hard to quantify ke time kahan ka तुम एक बग में चार घंटे भी लगे रह जाओगे तो बहुत छोटा सा होगा hmm. तो तुम क्लाइंट क्या बोलेगा तुम्हें मतलब नो वे टू जस्टिफाई इट तो या आई हैव हर्ड दिस कि यू गेट पिनलाइज्ड फॉर बीइंग फास्टर आई थिंक व्हेन यू रीच वेरी सीनियर लेवल्स इज व्हेन यू कैन नॉट डू दिस बिकॉज यू आर चार्जिंग टू हंड्रेड आवर समाइम्स एज अ डेवलपर तो यू नो यू हैव टू मेक श्योर यू डोंट गेट स्टक इन अ बग दैट्स टेकिंग फोर आवर्स दैट शुड नॉट एंड इवन इफ यू डू यू डोंट चार्ज द क्लाइंट अगर तुम इतना हाई चार्ज कर रहे हो दो सौ ढाई वाली रेंज में आ गए हो then people are themselves sensible enough to you know either decrease the hours or at least not spoof the hours video editing mein bhi uh, per hour karte hain log kuch bilkul nahi karna chahiye nahi karna chahiye it's useless mm-hmm. project i think coding mein uh, from what i'm learning today is per hour makes sense hamari industry mein to run away from per hour mm-hmm. um always deliverable based pricing बट इट पर मिनट यूजुअली कि हां अगर 10 मिनट की वीडियो तो आई विल चार्ज दिस मत 15 दैट्स अ डिलीवर दैट्स डिलीवर क्योंकि 1 मिनट की वीडियो में तो सम पीपल स्पेंड मंथ्स इन जस्ट 1 मिनट ऑफ एनिमेशन सम पीपल डू इट इन 4 आवर्स सो वीडियो में टाइप ऑफ वीडियो आल्सो रियली मैटर्स सो दैट्स डिलीवरेबल बेस्ड आवरली बेस्ड इज कि उस 1 मिनट की वीडियो को बनाने में अगर 4 घंटे लग रहे हैं तो मैं पर आवर कर रहा हूं नहीं करना चाहिए मतलब आई हैड सच एन ऑप्टिमाइज्ड वर्कफ्लो ऑफ यूजिंग the right tools the right templates the right speed the right process and i was faster than other editors in fact uska to mujhe zyada paisa milna chahiye but per hour mein yeah. delivery aur dusra india mein to waise bhi time ki to value hai hi nahi to matlab jaise mujhe experience sirf indian clients ka hai mere paas i think broadly 10 12 international clients rahe honge lifetime um so i feel deliverable is amazing mm-hmm. aap acche se define karo the only pitfall is define the value of changes hmm. ki when will i charge more hmm. so that clause needs revisions. to be clear yeah, correct what reason. counts for a revision hmm. what does not if you are charging me extra as a freelancer for a mistake that you committed that's not a change hmm. so even if it takes 10 changes you should be do, doing hmm. it for free right you should be paying me for wasting my time <laughs> <laughs> you know um you know so, i wish um, sorry to interrupt there uh-huh. is in my contract there is literally written unlimited changes wow. really? i charge i charge 5x of a normal person charges for a logo but i give unlimited changes that's amazing that's, yeah. this it's is also very interesting yeah. hmm? see but but uh, this is amazing right like he has defined a boundary mm-hmm. that boundary could be unlimited but you need to dubai mein the hum log aur bhai kisi singer ka bana rahe the aur wo bana raha hai har jagah hum log cab mein hai kahin ja rahe hain kuch kuch khana wana kha rahe hain side mein uska haath yahan chal raha hai khana kha raha hai dedication hai yaar wo matlab ye sab mein nahi hota hai Uh, uh, unlimited uh, sounds crazy to us in yeah it is unlimited because i know that the client doesn't have so much time to spend with me also right. he right. Al- he right. also is come for a completing a project hmm. he will complete it theek hai thoda bahut kar lega ye kar lega but i know it's all about maintaining good relations because aapko usse aur panch kaam nikalwana hai hmm. he will recommend his friends he will recommend his family members so ek low paying client so you can get five high paying clients also so treat that as you know as someone ki chalo you can do good work you know charge higher but give them don't give them uh, this ki iska change kal but extra because jab bhi paise ki baat aati hai na creativity goes there you mm-hmm. know all your whatever you have built over the years it all goes there because whenever you want to try to build relationships paise aur relationships kabhi saath mein nahi mm-hmm. matter karte that's why money is always something i tell my manager talk about i only talk about okay kaam kya batao bahut mature yes. thinking hai कि ये ये बेसिकली कह रहा है कि क्लाइंट को भी काम खत्म ही करना है उसके पास भी फालतू टाइम नहीं है कि वो डेढ़ महीना तक में चेंजेस देता रहेगा तो ये क्या स्मार्ट है बहुत ही आई थिंक लोगो डिजाइन में तो ये काफी इंटरेस्टिंग है मैंने नहीं सुना था 
it also okay. depends on the kind of client right like how yeah. much time they have you are targeting premium clients then mm. obviously they will not have their time huh. is worth quite exactly. a bit there's this one web3 client i've just started working with he thinks his uh, time is worth like $10000 per hour or something he doesn't come on calls with us because his manager usually comes and he just like da- delivers a fine because he doesn't have time hmm. so again your clients who are willing to pay that premium for you they a trust you right. b your quality of work is very high c they genuinely don't have time that's Sometimes, why people should get into web3 web because their clients <laughs> have a hourly rate of $10000 <laughs> <laughs> Yaar, I mean ye, that's a hyperbole obviously but he does think his time is very valuable he doesn't to come to grow course, as a yeah. freelancer is to be better at your work yes. mm. that's so true matlab sahi baat hai these are all micro optimizations ha. yeah in the end the main thing is ki tum kitne acche ho tum acche ho for sure 10 20% upar niche ho jayega sabse mahar thale hasil karni hogi ha that will what will cause outsized yeah. returns yeah ek point ke baad sales matter uh, but sirf sales se koi nahi bada काम तो अच्छा होना ही चाहिए ना क्योंकि डिलीवरी खराब होगी तो वो क्लाइंट तुम्हें दोबारा काम नहीं देगा पीपल फॉरगेट दैट क्लाइंट एक्विजिशन इज अ लॉट मोर एक्सपेंसिव देन रिटेंशन स्पेंड टाइम मनी रिसोर्सेज ऑन रिटेनिंग क्लाइंट्स बिकॉज एक्वायरिंग अ न्यू क्लाइंट इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव बिकॉज इट रिक्वायर्स योर टाइम इट रिक्वायर्स यू टू अंडरस्टैंड समबडी एल्स दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट कि वो काम क्या करता है धंधा क्या करता है उसको समझना उससे रिलेशनशिप बनाना retain clients it's uh, even if you have to reduce your prices give them something extra extra deliverable de do retention is always a lot more valuable than acquisition and sales kaise hoti hai for you what what does it look like so for us abhi hum lead generation ki baat kar rahe the like in the entire sales process what we just spoke about was lead gen hmm. which is finding a company to reach out to writing a cold email message whatever or what he does which is people reach out to him because he creates content so once this is done you have the interest of the person mm-hmm. now the the mistake that i see too many freelance gurus or people or online videos talking about is like bej do email pe email pe apna offering dal do price dal do no get the person on a call yeah so process is very simple uh, process is a discovery call uh, then what i call a uh, sort of digging deeper call and then a closure call right so discovery call is me understanding ki acha boss aapka requirement kya hai आपकी रिक्वायरमेंट क्या मैं केटर कर भी सकता हूँ कि नहीं आई टॉक अबाउट वॉट आई डू वी टॉक अबाउट ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वी कैन डू फॉर दैम ऑल द थिंग्स दैट आर रेलिवेंट इन देयर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो फिल्ट्रेशन हैपन्स इफ एवरी थिंग इज रेलिवेंट उनका बजट फिट होता है दैन वी गो फॉरवर्ड इन द सेकेंड मीटिंग वी आई दर टेक क्वेश्चन और वी एक्सचेंज एक्सचेंज पीसेज ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन विच अलाउज अस टू क्रिएट अ प्रपोजल ना दो तरीके के प्रपोजल्स होते हैं एक तो होता है जो सिर्फ एक प्राइसिंग प्रपोजल है कि आपने रिक्वायरमेंट समझी आपने कहा ठीक है मुझे इतने घंटे चाहिए इतने दिन चाहिए लेट मी कम बैक टू यू विद कि कितना कॉस्ट करेगा जैसे आपके केस में शायद वो होगा कि अच्छा टू डू दिस टास्क आई विल नीड 18 आवर्स और इन आर केस टू डू दिस टास्क ऑफ 50 वीडियोस आई विल चार्ज 50 लाख रुपीस देयर आर अनदर टाइप ऑफ प्रपोजल वेयर द क्लाइंट डिमांड्स सम आइडियाज व्हिच इज वेरी कॉमन इन क्रिएटिव फील्ड्स देयर लाइक कि ओके विल गिव यू 1 करोड़ वर्थ ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट गिव मी प्रूफ गिव मी प्रूफ बनाते कैसे हो हां तो इन दैट केस यू हैव टू not only show your portfolio but also create a pitch hmm. a pitch which is relevant for them ki hmm. guys acha hum aap pe agar branding karenge main aapko final product nahi de raha but let me give you a mood board let me hmm. give you a sense of what it will look like so when you have to create a pitch which is a lot more detailed this second call is very helpful which hmm. is digging deeper because hmm. discovery call mein tum client ko samajh nahi paoge comfort develop kar rahe ho but after you build comfort then you can dive deeper hmm. you can ask questions which they wouldn't have answered on the first call and then there is the third call which is the closure call which is where you present your pitch present your proposal negotiate close and then deal done so this is the usual process that we follow that i also recommend following in some case you can remove the digging deeper call jisme tum ideas pitch nahi kare then samjho client ko requirement bhejo and you like hey can we go on a quick 15 minute call let me walk you through the pricing let me walk you through the terms of my work if everything works out negotiate and close the deal and kabhi text pe baat nahi karni this is all should be video call हाँ आई एम नॉट सींग कि मैंने क्लोज नहीं करा टेक्स्ट पे करा है बट एवरी थिंग शुड बी वीडियो कॉल द अमाउंट ऑफ रिलेशन यार सेल्स और इन जनरल हमारा काम एक रिलेशनशिप का काम है डोंट डोंट रन आफ्टर क्विक मनी मतलब uh, uh, सिर्फ एक प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में मत सोचो एक क्लाइंट के साथ mm-hmm. अगर वो क्लाइंट अच्छा है तो सोचो कि मैं अगले दस साल तक कैसे काम कर सकता हूँ इसके साथ एनी एजेंसी बाद में ओनली नीड्स टेन और फिफ्टीन क्लाइंट्स टू चेंज देयर लाइफ राइट सो वो दस पंद्रह क्लाइंट के साथ बहुत अच्छा रिलेशनशिप बिल्ड करो एड अलॉट ऑफ वैल्यू इन दर लाइफ दैट्स वाई रेकमेंड वीडियो कॉल्स सो मेनी पीपल इनफैक्ट दर इज एन एजेंसी 
आई रियली लाइक द फाउंडर्स यंग एजेंसी मेकिंग टन्स ऑफ मनी कैमरा नहीं ऑन करते यार आके इट इट अफेंड्स मी एवरी सिंगल टाइम इट इज बैड इट इज बैड आओ नहा धो के आओ कंगी करके आओ थोड़ा सा क्लीन बैकग्राउंड रखो अच्छा लगता है छोटी छोटी चीजें काउंट करती हैं ये यू नो तो वो प्रेजेंटेशन द वे यू डू थिंग्स बिफोर यू सेल आफ्टर यू सेल द ओनली थिंग दैट मैटर्स इज योर आउटपुट Yeah. And when the reason I say this is if Anik has to now offend the client when the client is suggesting bad things, you go do. If Anik says that no, now stop, I will do it. Then give me feedback. He should say that right. because after you have sold, then everything stops mattering. Hmm. Then what matters is how good your work is. Right. So yeah. of course delivery is not that you just sell to the client and client <laughs> service. You forget. So this is how we sell. Then the service delivery happens and then project closure happens. Hmm. So, so one thing I'll add on to his point is. Hmm. what i focus primarily on is let's say i have four deliverables a logo a brand kit colors typography and when the project is closes i get on a call and surprise the client with an extra deliverable and always over deliver so they never ask for logo animation because it's very pricey in the market we do it for free we over deliver that client and then they are very extremely happy and you know they they it's a happy ending so they always recall that ki okay main iso char cheez ke liye paise diya he did a fifth thing for us so <laughs> क्या हो गया कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं कंटिन्यू सो काटो यार ये इसको प्लीज दोबारा बोल दो क्यों क्यों कोई बात नहीं छोड़ो 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 हम समझ गए क्या क्या हो गया सब देख ही क्यों हंस रहे हो अच्छा मैं भी मैं तो बहुत डीप कैमरा उधर था मैं इमेजिन कर रहा था वी डिड द फिफ्थ थिंग के टाइप आई डिड द फिफ्थ थ्री थिंग हैप्पी एंडिंग थिंग हैप्पी एंडिंग क्या बोलता है तू दोबारा आंसर देखो फनी चाहिए था ना पॉडकास्ट भाई अगर सही में फनी कर ना जैसे तुमने हैप्पी एंडिंग बोला ना कैमरा को मेरे पे चेंज कर देना मेरा एक्सप्रेशन एकदम बदल जाता मैं इसको नोट भाई सॉरी 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 नहीं अच्छा अच्छा दिस दिस विल बिकम अ गुड मोमेंट रील बन जाएगा यही हुक बनेगा लगता है ब्रो शुड हेजिटेट बट डू यू एग्री विद दैट लाइक हाउ डस द सेल्स प्रोसेस वर्क फॉर यू हर किरण तो तो वो ये मुझे समझ आ रहा है ना अभी के लोग बोथ ऑफ दिस नीशेस एंड आई वर्क विद अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल थंबनेल डिजाइनर्स के साथ एडिटर्स के साथ दे आर वेरी डिफरेंट व्हाटएवर ही इज सेइंग एग्जैक्ट सेम स्टोरी जो मेरे YouTube अभी हैंडल करते हैं कि इनिशियली दे वर वेरी स्वीट डूइंग द सेल्स प्रोसेस अब वो बहुत रूडली भी बात करते हैं हर खिरत मैं बदल रहा हूं थंबनेल आपको नहीं आता मैं कर रहा हूं एंड आई लिसन टू देम बिकॉज़ दे आर गुड दैट व्हाट दे डू दैट हैपेंस development is completely different usme you don't really worry about retention tum usually you don't get fired unless the company is you know going bankrupt you don't have to worry about you never uh, you know there's no sales cycle there are interviews mm-hmm. there are three four standard interviews you go through them company hires you so it's very different from you know creative fields uh, and yeah the, the only thing to keep in mind is there are standard interview processes you prepare for them that's why that's why there is a whole industry on you know teaching how to crack a coding interview because that's the process there's no other playbook Hmm. very different industry so freelancing as well coding freelancing yeah hmm. but there's no you don't have to you know sit on a call and yeah, sell that's uh, just one uh, you can look very ugly right. sorry that's just one <laughs> yeah. call right there's not rounds of coding interviews no uh, exactly no there are there are there are coding interviews i think even for freelance i mean there is no negotiation or like things that you do negotiation happens with an hr directly when you go through all the rounds everything is done yeah hr comes on the call they're pretty trained to you know get the least offer out of you you try to get the best out of them but what do you say then that's a enact that <coughs> moment depends on you know what stage you're in if you're a senior engineer you just throw in, throw your work okay. i currently make x hmm. i need a 30% raise if you want me to move um if not that how fine. do you decide that it's 30% is there a math to it or is it more ki this is what, what i feeling? feel i deserve it's more ki ha main itna khush hu apni company mein you know my equity it's been over a year i don't have a cliff anymore my equity is getting vested every month hmm. you want me to join your company whether it'll be another year of cliff so there needs to be some extra to wo extra kya hai wo banda to banda depend karta hai for me i've seen 30 40 percent. i mean this is pretty common 30 40 percent koi bhi tech company de degi at least during good times jab you know funding hai everyone will pay itna and 30 40 percent is i feel is a decent number if you do that for like 3 4 years or like so three four companies that's almost like three four x and then you sort of reach a ceiling there's there's a ceiling like there's code ceiling. coding is one com- field jahan pe you know you kya hai ceiling if you're working for indian companies probably one cr 1.2 cr for a 40 hour week um if you're working internationally it's probably contract work you're saying no no india proper company no proper company also like bangalore companies a lot mm-hmm. of my friends five years of experience if you graduate from at least if you graduate from csit degree most of my friends even working at google facebook are making close to a cr <coughs> on site if you're doing remote work us companies 200k is fairly standard for a senior engineer cash equity is kyun chhod ke alag hoti hai 1.6 cr 2 cr 2.5 cr tak main dekha hua hai 
got it for so 40 this is hours mostly like full time contract to. work though right mm-hmm. what about freelancing what about juggling two to three projects at the same time like for example in web3 you can have that smart contract development and nft project nft development that counts as a freelance project correct correct so what happens to that i've never done this ke you know some made uh, for for example aajkal ye bahut chal raha hai ke you know help someone launch a token yeah I've never done that. I know it's a lucrative field. Yeah, it is. I know people charge, you know. So, abhi kya ho raha hai ki meme coins are a thing. I don't know if you've heard of them. Reddit was IPOing and uh-huh. then Reddit ka meme coin bana tha ek. Ha, wo bhi chal gaya hoga. Which did crazy well. Yeah, so <laughs> no, uh, but that was like an example. There are similar projects in tech companies also. Like smaller companies have companies more mm-hmm. definitely, but then like uh, for these small small projects like for a freelance developer, ideally they should be doing like 3 4 projects at the same time, right? Yeah, you can do that being full time as well, right? You can be full time into companies um that and more like that sounds like burnout but it depends on the person i think tech is one field ha you know you can easily officially log 80 hours but only work 20 i've done that many times I've yeah that is true because <laughs> <laughs> coding and yaar you it's very hard to quantify that is definitely if you're uh, true if you're a senior engineer i love your honesty yeah yeah, yeah. अब तो छोड़ दिया ना इट्स लाइक अब मैं नहीं करता हूं दो दिन नहीं करता हूं एक जगह करता हूं पर जब करता था मतलब आई हैव मेड अ वीडियो ऑन के हाउ आई यू नो वन मंथ आई डिड 100 आवर्स एट लीस्ट आई लॉग्ड 100 आवर्स ऑफ कोर्स आई नो ह्यूमन कैन वर्क 100 आवर्स आई डोंट थिंक वीक में पॉसिबल है बट यू नो इफ अ कंपनी इन द यूएस इज लाइक अरे तुम तो इंडिया से हो हम तुम्हें 100 डॉलर्स एन आवर नहीं देंगे तो तुम बोलो मैं 50 डॉलर्स एन आवर ही लूंगा बट यू नो वर्क 20 आवर्स काम कर लूंगा हां बट ठीक है आई मीन You know, you just need to be able to make that person understand what you did. Might be a small thing, but make it big for the other person. That you know, you have done so many things. That's a very common <laughs> yeah. in coding. Yes, but uh, ideally shouldn't be. But yeah, I feel very yeah. uh, like it's very anxiety inducing for me to ever be you know video video editor because I have to keep showing impact. Okay, ये लो आपकी ये video. Coding में no impact कोई बात नहीं मतलब दो हफ्ते महीने Dude, a lot of people in big tech build products that never get released. Yeah. वो internal product ही बनाए जा रहे हैं सालों से. It's a very <laughs> lucrative field to you know chill if you want to. Um, that is a typical thing, ma. Yeah. Like, Pretty common. You ask our tech bro in the SF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? I'm coffee pi raha hoon. Then I'm gym chala gaya. I'm working on an internal tool for developers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a lot of coding is. Yeah. So, but this is like full time. Some so freelance me uh, coding me be as a small small projects. So that like mm-hmm. I said, the one the token launch or a Discord bot. So that is yeah, like yeah, exactly. one individual project that you can charge per project for. Even when I did like automation, like Python automation for quite some time, and that was also like an individual project, like an end to end project that I had to write the Google scripts and everything. That was also like I think I charged around. Two hundred dollars for that project. I was pretty young, but um, yeah. So there are like small, small projects in coding itself as well. It depends on what the company needs from you. Do they need someone who's like a founding engineer or full time on the company, or just they need like a small project done? That's also one more thing. Writing my how does it work? Yeah, sure. So lead gen, me I want to actually talk about a little bit more. So. one thing that i really like in legion is you have to go where your target audience is hanging out right so for example he said that uh, is ke comments mein there were so many people who actually had that need and that's why people when they reached out they immediately got that so i feel like when you have your target audience very quantified that's when you can find out where they hang and that's where you approach them so for example if you're a course creator or a co- coach or something you can go to these uh, website Right, like say school. dot com or something. So these people are paying school to make their community al- mm-hmm. like you know live mm-hmm. all the time, which means they have money. Right. So you can pitch them, and that will convert very well. Uh, similarly, people who have Shopify websites, they are paying Shopify twenty nine dollars per month. So clear. Uh, like qualification right there mm. that they have the money and you can pitch to them uh, one more thing i do like is testimonials where people like some coaches have given other coaches testimonials that they have made this certain amount of money or they talk about it in the content that is qualification right there um people who use like premium tools that is also qualification so i feel like all of these lead gen methods i could write a book on lead gen but i have tried a lot of different lead gen methods over the years i think for me facebook groups started my entire thing like facebook Same. groups and everything it works it does work it depends on the group what also. do you do like let's say you get into a group what do you do next and like so what there are two ways is? you can make content that is authoritative content or you can pitch to people who have problems so facebook groups are communities where people ask questions 
okay so if you can answer that question in a way that shows your authority and how you can help them people will automatically dm you so there was this one uh, facebook group comment that i had actually replied to like they had a question and i had replied to because i was at that time i was offering seo services so i uh, replied to with a result of my own and three others reached out to me because they saw that result mm. okay so it's a lot about answering those questions if you are not making your own content or pitching to people who have actively posted their gig requirements that's also one more thing facebook groups uh, uh twitter twitter outbound uh, twitter uh, that DMs. he said that that is yeah. a really DMing good the founders and yes gaming the founder i usually go to like sites like crunchbase or uh, for crypto there's a specific site which is crypto rank i believe which like showcases all the funding for that specific sector and then once i have the funding i can go directly and talk to them as well because they are immediately looking for marketing and uh, linkedin also does pretty well so these three channels are really good earlier i used to do fiverr and upwork i did find some really good success i probably uh, that was when we were doing the general purpose at scale agency a lot of it was actually coming from fiverr and uh, i think we clocked like 150k on that platform what uh, works today on fiverr what works on I 150k mean, dollars yes 1 crore rupees fiverr se kamaya aapne ha over wow. like a couple of years yes kya yeah. service offer kari writing ha writing hi thi mainly but writing for different different niches so different different gigs there with different different uh, yeah but honestly the pricing like you said it is a race to the bottom only volume game will work and chat gpt aane ke baad the volume game will slowly die, die down mm. but there are people i know who do make quite a lot of work uh, like you know a living from upwork and fiverr upwork is better in the sense that once you have that review sorted like in the yeah. beginning when you have a lot of reviews a lot of qualified inbound start coming to you uh, fiverr is more uh, you know the, it's in the name fiver right people just uh, mm. categorize five, that five like you know 5 five dollars fiver oh you know like. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so so the least uh, the cheapest, cheapest gig that you can five. is 5 dollars yeah. yeah. that's why it's uh, fiver it is 385 yeah. rupees it has branded itself it is oh, desperately not. trying to break out of that branding but it uh, is still like that's people have fiver. that perception oh. yeah i'm working on something with them oh, interesting yeah. Yeah. brandy hmm brandy something <laughs> yes you were talking about writing <laughs> yeah, this is more ex- interesting though <laughs> but bahut interesting laga mujhe iska yeah. answer because a lot of sales is fundamentally getting attention yeah. mm. if you have the attention of the right individual yes. um you won't even believe me but uh, mera course khareeda ek bacche ne to get a gig from owl mm. aur usko mil bhi gaya mm. kyunki uska kaam acha tha yes mm. of course to so, technically client acquisition cost kya hua 10 12000 rupees ha huh. and then he's making more yeah. from the first gig itself from us and so, i i will add on to that like if you are joining a course or a community people always shit that the course is not valuable enough this that and now but what you're not realizing that all of the people in the community are here. your actual like if you yeah. want to sell something similar or you want to have the skills they are actually your target audience when you build your creator like for video editing for example a lot of these video editors themselves will have overflow of gigs and they will need People. Right. So establishing yourself in that commune, that community itself becomes so valuable yeah. that yeah. that pushes you forward. For example, when I uh, joined Saheli's uh, Freelance One Hundred One, right? From there, I actually got access to you as well. How so? Because Saheli introduced me to you. Oh, yeah. you say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to recall that ये क्या ये कैसे हुआ कब हुआ? No, but uh, uh, a lot of people. Um, do work and post online tag mm. the founders yes. tag the ctos tag that's the that's visibility right then because you have shown that loyalty to them they will repay you the favor as well mm. so it's it's I more about loyalty is the right word because you have not started working or anything so i don't i don't think it's loyalty i think visibility. it's just visibility yeah. right i mean ek baar thode se aur question karte hain rapid fire marte hain bhai rapid fire karte hain jaldi jaldi I'll start with Anik. What time से शांत बैठा हुआ है Anik. बहुत बहुत notice कर रहा हूँ चुपके चुपके हर चीज़ को. नहीं तो I want to ask कि what is a AI tool that genuinely has an application in your workflow as a designer? I would say that I'm something I'm building on right now. I'm remember I told you about the idea. नहीं मतलब अभी अभी है मतलब अभी people can use right now. They can go on that site. Yeah. So there is this. मैंने save करके रखा है एक second. Okay. I don't remember name. iPhone Flex. <laughs> <laughs> मैं तो यूज़ ही नहीं करता ये टूल 
कोई भी नहीं करते कुछ कुछ एआई टूल नहीं चैट जीपीटी को कैसे यूज करते हो चैट जीपीटी चैट जीपीटी एन क्लाउड क्लाउड क्या नाम है इसका क्लाउड क्लाउड राइट सी एल ए यू डी जो भी सो मस्त है वो क्या करते हो उससे अमेजिंग ग्रेट एट क्रिएटिव आइडियाज बट एनीवे नहीं नहीं क्या लेट मी नो हां मतलब सी एल ए यू डी ओके तो उसका प्रो वर्जन अभी खरीदा एक हफ्ते पहले बहुत मस्त है चैट जीपीटी से सुपीरियर इन क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग Okay. Give me a but text based from that you add to it like that helps yeah, you. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't. I don't know how to prompt a chicka. So, like, and I think fundamental is the prompt that um, the more specific you are with your ask, the better mm-hmm. it gives you. Right. So, fundamentally, um, I tell them that this is the piece of information. This is your boundary condition. This is where you have to think. This is the brief, and this is the format in which I need the answer. and usually this this model works out ki main usko basic establish karta hu ki tu ye hai tujhe aisa sochna hai is daire mein sochna hai aur is format mein mujhe answer chahiye that format could be mujhe ek tabular format chahiye mujhe comparison format chahiye mujhe ek pointed uh, list list chahiye ya fir mujhe ek video script mein chahiye whatever it is right uh, so i think when when i set these uh, ho jata hai mujhe aise koi crazy technique nahi pata prompt likhne ki but i use uh, uh, chat gpt a lot and But how I, is cloud different yaar cloud mein do hafte ho mujhe uske broadly do day hafta aur creative ideas are a lot more how do i said unique i think sometimes chat gpt takes a lot of time to give you an answer which is uh, non obvious like if you are an experienced person you can see ke to bahut obvious answer de raha if i ask it mm. to make a content strategy for a page बहुत ऑब्वियस आंसर देगा फॉर सम टाइम आई फील एंड यू कैन गेट टू नॉन ऑब्वियस आंसर्स इफ यू कीप प्रॉम्प्टिंग एंड कीप डूइंग द मतलब उसको बार बार सवाल पूछते रहो दिस क्लॉड क्लाउड वट एवर द प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज आई फील इट गेट्स टू दैट क्रिएटिव लाइक वेरी यूनिक आंसर वेरी फास्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी डूइंग जस्ट ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग अ कैंपेन विद द टूल एंड मैं उससे पूछ रहा था कि विद सेलिब्रिटी शुड आई इंक्लूड एज पार्ट ऑफ द and it gave me such incredible examples just usne nawazuddin siddiqui recommend kara for a campaign and it had a full on reasoning as to why you should pick him and uh, it felt like i'm talking to like an artist or a talent manager who knows bollywood really well hmm. so aisa answer mujhe chat gpt se actually kabhi nahi mila and both uh, prompts for the same a uh, both prompts for the same i have also in the beginning ab to nahi karta main but shuru mein jab main cloud jab main soch raha tha ki paise do ya na do ki 25 dollar rupee almost 23 point something per month Uh, then I did like similar prompts. So Chat GPT ne nahi diya mujhe. Uh, GPT four is the one in question. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of plugins by the way now which people are using. Maybe hmm. as such, no plugins. Chat GPT ka. Haan, hmm. main, main use karta nahi ho. So I'm not very deep in that ecosystem. So maybe GPT with plugins or hmm. some bot is better. Hmm. Um, but vanilla is what I'm discussing. You were talking, Anik. Yeah. So there is um, so a lot of times when we have to have meetings with the clients and show our logo presentations. So we use this AI tool called Deco Your. So basically, it's a live image generation. You put in your prompts, and just as you type every single letter or word, the image on keeps changing. Every single thing it generates live. It's live painting or whatever. Like that. So we use that. We have the premium subscription. It's nice. And um, we also use Chat GPT. Like a lot of them for research. I'll also use this new tool you're talking about. Uh-huh. Cloud, cloud, cloud. <laughs> I'll use that. And a lot of times, what I've done is I have delegated the task of using these tools with each team members. So there's one guy. His name is Azim. He's very good with research. He creates an excellent research document, and the clients are very impressed. Are they? You know, so that's like first impression because when a client pays you, the first thing you show them really matters, and it's very important what you show them. Hmm. And you directly don't show the logo to them. You first show that shall I'm research, I'm doing brand study, I'm doing competition study, I'm doing. Then what I'm trying to do is. it's valuable it's, it's behind the logic there is a reason why i'm doing this so as such so that research document is also generated not completely but uh, the ai is used thoda bahut to generate the document and then yeah what was the name again uh, deco your deco your deco your we use chat gpt and uh, mainly do use kar rahe hum there's also simplified sometimes we use for management purposes simplified dot app yes mm-hmm. yes कोडिंग स्टैंडर्ड कोडिंग असिस्टेंट्स गिटहब को पायलट इज द बेस्ट वन गिटहब को पायलट कैसे यूज करते हो उसको आप आई मीन डिपेंड्स इफ योर आईडी सपोर्ट्स इट व्हिच मोस्ट मोस्ट आईडीज डू यू जस्ट टाइप सम कोड बाकी जाओ तुम्हें दिखा देगा यू प्रेस टैब एंड यू नो यू कोड बाय टैबिंग अब थोड़ा रिवर्स माइग्रेशन स्टार्ट हो गया कोडिंग में पीपल आर नॉट लाइकिंग दिस प्रोडक्ट्स एंड यू नो डिसेबलिंग देम बट देयर इज वन प्रोडक्ट इट्स इट्स दैट 
बट क्या इसको यूज करना चाहिए ऐसा बिगिनर जो सीख रहा है कोड एज इफ यू लर्निंग देन प्रॉब्ली नॉट यू विल नेवर लर्न अगर तुम उसको वही लोग कह रहे हो इसी बात पे भी डिबेट चल रहा है बहुत ज्यादा कि यू नो द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन ऑफ डेवलपर्स आर टैबिंग डेवलपर्स वो बस टैब दबा रहे हैं तो दैट माय एंड यू नो आई कंसीडर माय सेल्फ लकी कि हमारे टाइम पे सब नहीं था यू हैड टू एक्चुअली गूगल तो ये एज अ बिगिनर प्रॉब्ली प्रॉब्ली नॉट द बेस्ट टूल ऑटोमेटिक गाड़ी वर्सेस मैनुअल गाड़ी नहीं टीएलडी भी बहुत अच्छा टूल है वैसे वी यूज इट व्हाट इज टीएलडी ऑल ऑफ माय क्लाइंट मीटिंग्स आर रिकॉर्डेड so a client oh. can't uh, tell me five meetings later maine to ye bola tha uh, yeah. and then we like yeah, audio uh, record karte hai fir note summarizer video audio, video, audio note summarizer all in one tldv uh, and store okay. ka hota hai ye cloud mein tldv cloud uh, okay. accessible to everyone even the client uh, nice. you can see yaar pata hai when you are working on a high stakes environment recording your meetings is very important mm. makes sense because we had some really really respected clients tell us I asked you, but you didn't do it. And uh, as I said, right, like discipline is uh, very important for me. Hmm. So if yeah. you tell me something that I didn't do, I take it very seriously. I take it to heart, and then I deliver. Hmm. But if you lie to me, I do inform you that boss, me, and I think that proof helps. Uh, so as a freelancer, you should record yeah. meetings. Right. Fireflies. Dot AI does it well as well. Yeah. But it's tool like Sara. Mm-hmm. But this is like a one in all yeah, in one. Yeah. TLDV na, मुझे बहुत intuitive लगता है. We have tried uh, uh, two three others. Uh, note taker हैं. Hmm. Uh, but this one I felt कि बहुत सही है. Uh, you should record calls. What have you used? Yeah. So chat GPT obviously. कैसे use करते हैं for a writer? Are very different. Like depends on the kind of topic I am writing on. Uh, for Web three, it is very very outdated. and honestly you'll get all the wrong answers so but then the direction is well like cbd4 pe bhi nahi aayega nahi okay to uh, it's 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 so fast paced that humans make mistakes mm. so there's no way that ai is going to because ai what ai does is it's like you know training on human data and human makes humans make mistakes so it's training on noisy data which is like bad data right. so then it's not going to generate uh, proper answers anyways um so chat gpt what it helps me with is once i re- write like a sample if i something i'll be stuck on and i'll be writing for hours and i don't know how to make it better i'll just put it there and it will make it better for me i'll just say 10 variations iska de do and one of those variations will give me some direction how i should frame this mm. um and then that is one research is one research i like to do is i i like to do a lot of research from youtube and podcasts and everything and sometimes the transcript thing doesn't work or sometimes you have to watch the entire thing so there's this uh, ai tool called cast magic so what it does it it uh, you put a video and then it gives you that entire transcript uh, very well done and highlights all the important points and everything as well you can also highlight so that cuts down a lot of my work when it comes to research specifically mm. and chat gpt ke wo jo premium plugins jo uh, bol rahe the mm. dali works very well there's this web prompter which chat gpt gives access to chat gpt for the internet so that also is really helpful because it can get all the results from the internet and then give you the answer from there so it's like the that sort of helps widen its database right yeah. so all of these three uh, do it mostly chat gpt honestly mm. chat gpt is like the most versatile one my co-founder even uh, found like 20 chicken mexican recipes to give to his cook because you know khane mein kya hai hamesha question mark hota hai so that's chat gpt's yeah. work i yeah. think we didn't touch upon how do you learn writing mm-hmm. that was one part that we did not did not discuss uh, what what do you think how does one get started with that as well how do you learn writing is such a broad question as in like first content like, writing how does yeah it? content writing for what are you writing a blog are you writing um ghost writing for twitter linkedin for somebody there are so many different aspects of content that every skill is very specialized and if you want to be very good at it uh, the more general advice i would give you is go and see what the big people in that space are doing so if you want to be become a linkedin ghost writer go and study the formats the hooks that people are using and then find out what is common between uh, all of them there's this website called swipes.co as well which gives you like copy from like say 50 years or something we copy which has worked swipe.co swipe.co yeah so th- that copy which has worked so you have to study that and you have to write it and sort of understand the psychology behind what is going what's uh, going and writing is not like you will get better at writing in like one day or something it's like an iterative process you learn from all of these inputs and reading books reading all of that all of that sort of helps cultivate that uh, writing ability in you 
so it depends on which stage you are and how it will go but I also like this is one like cultivating your writing ability the other one is working with really really good editors they will be able to point out where you you are going wrong and if you are somebody who's like keen to learn you will really understand where you are going wrong like nothing beats getting live feedback on your work there is this one girl called uh, erica snyder so she has this cutting room podcast so what she does in that cutting room podcast is she takes one of her writers work and just edits it on the podcast mm. and she points out everything the logic behind it what should be where and everything and it it's a really good tool to sort of understand because this girl has uh, written for like almost uh, very high big brands multi million dollar brands and everything so getting into that mindset of a editor and what they are looking for is also a really good tool to improve your writing makes sense i think for design as well uh, chris do does a lot of these videos in which he will critique designs of people on the yeah, future yeah. youtube yeah. channel so yeah. that is also just like liquid gold if you want to learn about mistakes people people should avoid yep yeah what are the what's the best purchase that you've made that has made your quality of life better as a creative as a freelancer uh 23 hard to quantify one um really fast machines um laptop phone um they have they can't lag if i'm operating on 50 tabs invest um these things are good investments iphone ka matlab ye nahi hai ki main matlab show off kar raha hu but ek a, a fast phone could be a fast android phone very important right in dono cheezon pe kaam ho raha hota hai um second is a very good chair uh itna sara kaam tum baithte ho um it's very important to be to have a comfortable chair otherwise uh, in our business aise log kaam karte hain to posture kharab ho jata hai bahut zaruri hai uh, us pe focus karna um then uh, gym subscription uh, digital folks forget ki there is life outside of your laptop it's important to go out um focus on your health and then the a multitude of digital products which are very very helpful um data management is very important invest mm-hmm. on it it hard learnings but invest on a good cloud storage uh, save everything uh, delete mat karo apna purana data it's important to keep everything from 10 years ago as well so i think these are the level of purchases but uh, if you f- remove the word purchases and if you switch it with where you should invest your money mm-hmm. the minute you start making money hire house help hire somebody for la- laundry hire somebody for cooking I think that's the first thing where I would spend my money on have a clean desk clean environment invest in technology uh move to try I mean I'm not saying ki kisi flatmate ke sath mat raho but if you don't mind living alone try living alone in a place where you have friends I think that uh, buying that space for yourself will allow you to uh operate independently mm. so, so, so thinking space kafi mil jata hai um Uh, these are the first few things that i invested in when i started to make money all of them had uh, very good results it's good advice yeah. yeah that's pretty good. i think it covers everything yeah, yeah, yeah copy paste it on so pushne wala tha bhi like done <laughs> Is that it? Especially like posture. So this is because yeah. like live example. I Harkirat had tennis was elbow smiling with the yeah, posture yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay, what is this? Tennis elbow. I have tennis elbow because oh. I used to sit like this and work. So what is that? Like if there's direct impact on your elbow, then there's some uh, calcification that forms here, and you can't move it properly. And now it's almost healed, but for three months I couldn't move this arm properly. Damn, oh, wow. Damn. Life example. कैसे हुआ बट ये? Because of my posture. Oh, very hard. As a developer, uh, very hard. You will tell do. me your story. <laughs> This is very common. Like, so he thinking. posted a video, uh, 2019, 20. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. yeah, in which he was showing the pain that he went through. क्या क्या हुआ था? Yeah, I don't think. I, I don't know if, if my posture is to blame for it. It was a slip disc. It happens mm. because of an injury. Probably was a gym injury. Um, yeah. But could have been my posture. Um, I haven't taken any steps to you know better it. I should probably, as he said, invest in a better chair. I've invested in a standing desk. Never really, you know. Super nice chair. Super nice. इतना आला साथ आसपास लोग ना हाँ it's like these are things you should focus on. It's like great advice. मैंने उसको ऊपर करा और फिर उसका प्लग निकाल दिया ऊपर ही रहती पूरी टाइम. हाँ. Best. That's also not good. Desk ऊपर नहीं करता. That's the problem. नहीं मेरे रूम में जहाँ मैं काम करता हूँ वहाँ पे चेयर ही नहीं है. Huh? There's no chair. I don't think that's that's good either. I think you should 
I think it's a combination. Yeah, you should alternate. Exactly. I think so. I work in sprints. I work in like sprints. So I'll work, then I'll go to the living room and sit outside. That's okay. So you know what I do is, um, in my standing desk, there's a three, one, two, three settings mode. Hota na. So I made a custom icon banaya <laughs> of a camera and I put it there as a sticker. So whenever I have to record reels, I put my standing desk over because I stand up and record reels. Hmm. So that's a good habit. I maintain my balance between sitting doing design work and standing and creating content that's what yes. i do efficient that is the best purchase you you have had i i guess a standing desk would and second thing is not one single thing but i always always prefer good quality products i don't see the price when i'm purchasing the karen dash uh, <laughs> and ye bhai jo hai ye japan mein the hum log aur isne dekha there was this very bespoke pen company ya swiss, store swiss yeah ha it's called karen dash Yeah. पे जाता है भाई वो बोलता है कि ये पेन अच्छा लग रहा है ऑरेंज कलर का है डिजाइनर का कलर इज ऑरेंज तो मुझे ये पेन चाहिए उस पर आई विल गेट डिजाइनर एनग्रेवड और डिजाइनर में आई की जगह इट इज एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क राइट तो उसने बोला वो कर बना के दिखाओ मेरे को ही गॉट दैट डन एंड सेवन थाउजेंड कितने का था यार वो टेन के आसपास बट द थिंग इज इट वॉज मोर अबाउट द एक्सपीरियंस दे बिल्ड द पेन फ्रॉम स्क्रैच इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एवरी सिंगल मेटल पार्ट ऑफ इट द स्प्रिंग ऑफ इट एवरी थिंग वॉज बिल्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी द मोर अबाउट द एक्सपीरियंस एंड प्लस आई वुड यूज दैट पेन टू साइन चेक्स इन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट भाई दिस इज जस्ट दो जो होता है ना क्वेश्चन बोलते हैं तो बोलेंगे कि यू यू विल साइन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद दिस <laughs> but i i i really respect good design things and i'll mm. spend money to get that because it's like how you consume good quality reels and content you'll produce good quality you surround yourself with good quality th- things and True. you'll produce good quality i buy a lot of books i hardly get to read all of them mm. it's just that one idea that i get from them maybe i read like 30 50 pages of that wo bas ek idea mil jata that helps me execute faster you use read else. you read a lot of books at the same time yes i read a lot of books not one book at one time nahi 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 so at this moment i'm reading a book on attachment style reading a book about how the consumer india behaves india 2 india 3 which does not spend a lot and the third book is around that one courage to be disliked yeah. so all of these ideas are just going all over the place it's a good title there's a very interesting thing that somebody told me um i think it's a stolen thought but is like i surround myself with books because it reminds me how much i don't know mm. and uh, that that makes you feel or rather that that reminds you that how stupid you are and how little you know in this world oh. so yeah, i start buying a lot of books because of that mm. it's an excuse that i give myself to not read them to ni balki aajkal to log freelancer se zyada agency is the buzzword ha shuru kar do sadly why why sadly yaar uh, the preface is basically i get a lot of freelancers who work with me or they are having this delusion ki bhai main kyu kaam karu ishan ke sath ya main kyu kaam karu isi agency mein when i can start my own agency and as a result of that there are too many video editors who have their own agencies they have zero or close to zero experience of working as a freelancer themselves and they just like agency khol li hai khud ko editing aati hai nahi aati hai pata nahi they have hired some editors ko outsource karke rakha hai unhone kaam unhe khud pata nahi hai kuch ki kya hota hai to there's a lot of that yeah. that i experience in the field of editing and design as well for that matter yeah. the problem with our business is that uh, today i can go home open my laptop open a google sheet and be like yeah agency agency. Owner. Mm. yeah i am an agency owner today the barrier to entry is nothing yeah mm. and that's a big problem especially in creative yeah. fields i can just be like and even in i think coding mein main ye bol sakta hu ki are hum karte hain and then mm. i can get done from let's say smart folks yeah. mm. uh, does it work out i don't know i don't believe in it does it, does it I, work i i think you need to know your shit if Martin you martin kaheng barrier to entry is nothing but barrier to success is everything mm. i okay. think if you if you if you don't get your hands dirty initially yeah. this is the worst thing agency kyu kholni hai tum khud karo na pehle ek client to lao ek client ko to tum handle kar hi sakte ho matlab it should happen very naturally the transition to an agency yeah, yeah. yeah. logo lagta hai ki agency mein zyada paisa banta hai उनको पता नहीं है कि एजेंसी एड्स के लिए वी डिड अ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैमरा वाज शोइंग यू राइट लाइक हाउ एजेंसी एग्जांपल तो 100 रुपए बनाती है अगर एजेंसी पे यार इन्फ्लुएंसर मार्केटिंग को पकड़ते हैं ठीक है तो मान लेते हैं कि अच्छा पहली बात तो लोग ना रेवेन्यू और जीएमवी में फर्क नहीं समझ आता लोगों को लगता है कि जैसे इन्फ्लुएंसर मार्केटिंग एज अ कंपनी अगर वो 100 करोड़ रुपए बना रही है ठीक है तो 100 करोड़ रुपए टेक्निकली नेट रेवेन्यू नहीं है बिकॉज़ अगर 20% यू चार्ज फ्रॉम योर टैलेंट्स 
राइट एट्टी परसेंट तो अगर मान ली मैं तो जो मैनेज करता हूँ तुम तीनों को मैं मैनेज कर रहा हूँ राइट आई एम टैलेंट मैनेजमेंट स्लैश इन्फ्लुएंस मार्केटिंग एजेंसी बीस बीस टका मैं तुमसे लेता हूँ ठीक है तो अगर मेरे मुझे ब्रांड ने सौ रुपये दिया मैं तुझे अस्सी दूंगा मेरे पास बीस बचा सो मेरा नेट रेवेन्यू एक्चुअली बीस टका बीस टका ही तो है बीस रुपये ही तो है राइट सो पहली बात तो लोग यहीं पर खुश हो जाते हैं मैं सौ करोड़ की अपनी चला रहा हूँ राइट दैट्स द दैट्स द फर्स्ट पिटफॉल विच इज but that is only specific to influencer marketing i'm I think. taking one example yeah, right yeah. like of course uh, because influencer marketing is trading hmm. um at least Bilali. right now uh, correct you are pretty much you you don't add too much value hmm. now there are companies like for example the value that hum kya pitch karte hain client ko ki boss hum khud creatives hain so we can control the creative layer better uh, kal ko kuch jaise hamara uh, तुमने कोई दिक्कत कर दिया एडिट में मेरे पास ही एडिटर्स हैं टू मेक थिंग्स बेटर मेरे पास ही राइटर्स हैं टू मेक थिंग्स बेटर मेरे पास ही क्रिएटिव डायरेक्टर है टू मेक श्योर थ्री इन्फ्लुएंसर्स डोंट प्रोड्यूस रैंडम कंटेंट फॉर वन कैंपेन इट नीड्स टू बी यूनिफॉर्म सो वट एवर एनी कमिंग टू द पॉइंट अस्सी चला गया क्रिएटर के पास नेट रेवन्यू बचा बीस रुपये बीस रुपये में तुम्हें अपनी सैलरीज भी निकालनी है एडमिन एक्सपेंसिस भी निकालने हैं ऑफिस के खर्चे भी निकालने हैं सॉफ्टवेयर एक्सपेंसिस भी जितने भी खर्चे हैं सब निकालने हैं सो मोटा मोटा जो मार्जिन है वो बहुत कम बनता है तो इन अ लॉट ऑफ एजेंसी बिजनेसेस हु आर डूइंग नथिंग बट ट्रेडिंग जो कि यहाँ की चीज़ लेके यहाँ बेच रहे हैं मार्जिन इतना नहीं है ना हेयर कम्स द पिटफॉल मार्जिन शुरू में बहुत अमेजिंग होता है क्योंकि वो पहला क्रिएटर लेके आएंगे कंपनी को जाके बोलेंगे कि यार बायदर इसकी वर्थ एक सौ सत्तर रुपये है तो बीस टका नहीं वो पचास टका कमा लेंगे और खुश हो जाएंगे कि अरे हम तो कितना मार्जिन बना रहे हैं बट दिस मार्जिन बिकम्स थोड़ा थोड़ा कम होता रहता है एज यू स्केल अप because you can't command this margin the minute you are talking to an enterprise or a larger customer but i don't even know ki wo agency kitna charge kar rahi mere naam ko bech ke you don't know but at if the if that agency further is selling to a bigger client that that client is now also talking to five people so wahan pe price equalize ho jata hai hmm. so ye jo influence marketing agencies 50 60 70 taka margin charge kar rahi hai wo mostly chote brands ko kar rahi hai chote clients ko kar rahi hai ya fir wo 10 20 30 lakh rupaye wale campaign pe kar rahi hai the minute you scale up margins shrink Right. Because वो companies some companies are I mean वो नहीं इतना देखती but other companies are smart so yeah and and second is agency में ना खर्चे बहुत होते हैं hmm. um, initially तुम्हें लगता है कि हाँ ठीक है but if you want to truly scale up you will have to hire full time hmm. unless you have a very effective model of freelance जो मुझे लगता है बहुत मुश्किल है hmm. um, you will have to have full time fixed expenses increase what if you don't get the amount of clients that you were hoping for what if all your retainers fall through yeah so many things can can go wrong interestingly market up has about 4 to 5 people full time hmm. and the rest are about 20 freelancers and they've been working with us for a long time hmm. kabhi bhi chhod jata hai as i said 3 3 saal se addition to hota hai so that has been working out well but we just know that if you want to go beyond this number yeah. if you want to 2x or even 5x that number we will have to start getting people on board working with us full time coming to the office wo cheez hai hmm. मैनेजमेंट कॉस्ट भी है ना तुम्हारा टाइम वो मैनेजर का टाइम टू मैनेज ऑल ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी पीपल वर्सेस हैविंग वन फुल टाइम पर्सन डेडिकेट दैट अमाउंट ऑफ दैट दैट्स इन टाइम बेसिकली ना तीन फेज हैं फ्रीलांसर मान लो सौ रुपये कमा रहे हैं छोटी एजेंसी डेढ़ सौ रुपये कमा रही है अच्छा ऑफर है बट अगर तुम अपनी लाइफ कॉम्प्रोमाइज करके एक फ्री लांसर से एजेंसी पर जा रहे हो क्योंकि उसमें ज़्यादा मेहनत है तो तुम डेढ़ सौ पे स्टक क्यों हो तो तुम एटलीस्ट हज़ार पे जाओ ना और उसके लिए बहुत सारे कॉम्प्रोमाइज हैं दैट्स वाई फील फ्री लांसिंग इज ग्रेट फॉर मोस्ट पीपल because people don't want the compromise of a 1000 but want the result of 1000 ki mujhe mil jaye but main compromise nahi karunga wo kaise hote hai compromise example yaar compromise first starts with being okay with seeing negative on a pnl sheet being okay with not making a you know some money in a couple of months aisa kabhi hota hai being okay with eating last hmm. yaar bahut bar break even to bahut bar hota hai hmm. ki um you are running a large agency um and there is a it's a low month for you okay uh, as mm. a founder you eat last mm. you pay all the expenses you pay all the salaries and then you take out money correct so there are months when sometimes you don't make money um has it happened to me a couple of months not a very regular occurrence mm. but some people don't even have the stomach to handle those couple of months um second in an agency you have to be willing to invest up front For example, in in the first year of running your agency, let's say you have made fifty lakhs. This is not your money anymore. This is the mm. company's money. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Technically, mm. you, can you take it home? Of course you can. But should you? No. Mm. You should keep it as company reserves. Mm. Take out twenty lakhs. Hire 
five more people. Mm. So at any given point of time, a good agency will also have over hires. Mm. Mm. People who have hi- who they have hired, but they don't fully like pura unka utilize. bandwidth nahi utilize ho raha. Aur aisa kyu karte hain agencies? Taaki agar koi naya client ekdam se sign ho, we can cater to them mm. in house ideally. Mm. So aisa nahi ki agency <coughs> paisa nahi kamati, but your framework has to change. Right. Uh, in a freelancer, you you make one thousand rupees, you take home one thousand rupees. Um. In an agency, you make one thousand rupees. <laughs> you better not take that 1000 rupees back home because otherwise you're doomed for failure completely mm. yeah so that is what changes yeah. aisa nahi hai ki on paper to zyada paisa banega agar tum grow kar rahe ho from freelancer to agency uh, but take home money yeah. becomes tricky yeah, yeah. Mm. the first month of our running our uh, business spirit wish the first month profit was 800 rupees and we were so happy we were ecstatic you know sab kuch pay ho gaya sab ho gaya but 800 400 400 ho gaya but uh, we have actually done a podcast like breaking down every year how much we made but everything like you see the expenses add up then this add up the break even part it happens all the time hmm. so hmm. again you have to have that mindset when you move from a freelancer to agency abhi jo aise uth ke like freelancer just bane hain abhi next mahine agency ban gaya it doesn't work no does it work in the field of development people do it um I don't know. I've never done it. Uh, I think the biggest reason I would advise people against it is because you go from becoming a developer to becoming a manager. Mm. So you're taking that call. You're no longer going to be a developer. So my skill gay. Yeah. You're not ever going to ever command high salaries as a. So to be a manager, man, sure. Um, it's a lot of overhead from what I've heard. It's a race to the bottom. You're going to you know up work with Jawgay. There are a lot of agencies in India. I don't know how well they do. I would never do it. Neither do I suggest it. Mm. Very good point. तुम्हारा तुम यू यू स्टॉप एग्जीक्यूटिंग इन अ लॉट ऑफ केसेस मैं नहीं शूट करता अब मैं नहीं डायरेक्ट करता राइट सो इफ यू लव योर क्राफ्ट फ्रीलांसिंग एज अ लॉट ऑफ मनी इवन जॉब्स हैव अ लॉट ऑफ मनी एवरीथिंग हैज अ लॉट ऑफ मनी इफ यू जस्ट वेट लॉन्ग इनफ एवरीथिंग वर्क्स एवरीथिंग वर्क्स एपिक दैट वाज द पॉडकास्ट ऑल राइट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर the people were still watching <laughs> at this point <laughs> why are we laughing we should like thank them you know ha we should we should yeah. of course thank them <laughs> but like <laughs> in a world in a world in a world where people are consuming those reels people are sitting for 2 hours and consuming this content Koi hearing from all of us Koi are conflicting oh, opinions mm-hmm. yes. and making up their mind ki karna kya hai let's say a word for that for them to comment whoever stick till the end what should be the word kya word hona chahiye limitless limitless comment limitless, limitless. limitless yeah. comment karo yeah. so we'll know who stuck till the end yeah. ha be a part of and the limitless gang i'll give you something yeah. I'll, i'll give you something ishan will hire you ishan will hire you ishan signed copy dega me ye to kar sakta hai itna to ani ko apne pen se dega ani ani ko sign karna hai ani ko apna pen dega but you know i think what we should do is by let's by we can end it by giving out our emails where people can reach out to us if they want to work with us any yeah. freelancer who is upcoming who wants to work with any of our agencies or as a freelancer so they can get that opportunity since mm-hmm. they have watched this since they have learned a lot from this so they should get that opportunity mm-hmm. that's what you can email. do you just put it on the screen uh, it's yeah. harkira oh my god which one should i 100xdevs@gmail.com i usually just hire uh, you know video editing these things only mm. I rarely hire developers if you want to develop though all of my code is open source you can just contribute right. that Alipsa at the rate bigblocktheory dot co, so we'll put it on the ye. Yeah. I am looking for, I'm actively looking for operations managers, content managers, content writers, specifically to Web three. Epic. Um, Ayush at the rate owlmedia dot com, looking for all kinds of folks. If you're interesting, I would love to speak. So mine will be anikjain design at the rate gmail dot com. We are currently looking for a lot of graphic designers. and a lot of content writers as well so you can reach out awesome thank you so much for watching we will see you in another podcast sometime soon don't forget soon. to subscribe yes subscribe and uh, share karo on social media like a picture a screenshot of all of us five in one screen editor can do that there <laughs> and post it on social media and tag all of us okay, and share your learnings this. and we'll see you in another one thank you and have a good day